We're live. We're live. Alex Adam Show. Woo. Welcome back, every friends. Enemies. Family. We're very, very pleased to be here. We're very pleased to participate in the greatest American industry there is, podcasting. We have Stellar feet here. <laughs> Star of the show. I made sure to bring the feet today. Today, today we are we are uh, focused, and we're we're hungry, and we're we're ready to to lay out facts and strategies and tips and tricks mm -hmm. of how to do naked things. Yep. I'm like trying to like the intro because would you say like the first like few you're not supposed to say any uh, bad words or yeah, something. You can't say like uh, fuck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> Come, just <laughs> piss, shit, <laughs> anal. And we're not Good just start. gonna and we're not just gonna schizo out about AIDS or <laughs> <laughs> no, no, or cars or anything. I want a scat pack so bad. Yeah. No, we were supposed to have some kind of, there's supposed to be some kind of direction to this. This is the Stella Berry show now. <laughs> and we do things professionally she, and correctly now. She's, she's back. We've been marinating for, for like a month yeah. in all of our thoughts. Well, you've been, you've been doing traveling. You've been, been traveling the world. Yeah, you've been trotting the globe. Yep. Being a successful. I was stolen away from Florida for um, about a month. We're not letting you leave again. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave again. We're gonna we're gonna take up arms to prevent. Ms. Honestly, from I leaving. would love if you guys just kept me here, in a freaking shed, and told like didn't let me go out and work. I'm tired of working. Tired you spent of you spent a little bit of time in the shed. A little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a lot of things. You you saw a lot I of people. I did go to a shed for a little bit on the you trip. Met, you met many celebrities. I met many so many celebs. Important world figures. Mm -hmm. Gandhi. Gandhi was great. I heard Big he's pretty. Cock. I heard, ooh, okay. Didn't Gandhi get canceled recently? Yeah, I or think, is that the Dalai Lama? Uh, no, the Dalai Lama got both. Can both, bro. Both. Both. <laughs> both. Yeah. both. Yeah, well, but the Dalai Lama was a recent one. Yeah, because he stuck his tongue in like a little. See, well, he I tried knew to it. have. A, They're always perverts. He, he he tried to. He asked a little little boy to stick his tongue. To suck his tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that's he right. Sucked to his suck. Tongue. If it was just licking, <laughs> if it was just licking, people let that go. The level of. The level of horny brain you got to be at to say some weird shit like that, bro, he's is hot. Do it for God, bro. He's fucking eighty-five too. It's not yeah. like he's probably young. senile. Yeah, he probably. Is. But there's he probably had like a a flashback of a distant memory of another little boy sucking on his tongue, and he was and he saw from it. from two days before. <laughs> I swear, all these people that are so perfect, it's them overcorrecting for what's deep inside that's bad because they're sick. And if you have so much good inside, like him and I. Then we don't have to overcorrect and we just spew nasty stuff out into the world. Good is a strong word. <laughs> and nasty is very accurate. <laughs> but uh good people are nasty. But Gandhi probably I don't I can't really remember, but he probably like what he like probably raped people or something. No, I think he just cut well, yeah, I think he did do that, he maybe. He created a cult May of raping. I, yeah, I think he did have some accusations that he did some bad sex stuff, but I also think he just didn't think that women were people, maybe well, that's or fair. weren't equal or something. I mean, that is true. <laughs> I mean, you know, we are infinitely better. Um, I I agree. I'm a I'm a full I'm a feminist now. Mm, I don't know, but I'm um, fifty fifty. I don't like people. I like I don't know how to spell Gandhi, and then I just I typed in Gandhi <laughs> sex into Google, <laughs> Dude, and I just wrong with is that a fetish part? category? <laughs> and then I'm just getting like X and XX like Gandhi fuck, sex fuck videos. Oh my like, god, what? Let's assume that Gandhi. We said we were gonna. He, it was a different time. Real information on this podcast. We are gonna. Do, we are gonna do real information. Gandhi sex porn. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the oh. first thing you you want to you want to find out instead of typing like Gandhi controversy or Gandhi. Ba I don't know how to spell <laughs> all those words. <laughs> I just want to thank our sponsor for today's episode, Puchow. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Japanese Asian candies are very good. And then core. They I ate about like 15 of them. Sponsor. And then uh, core hydration grift water that's full of, you know, weird yes. pesticides. This is our other sponsor. Um, we're big time now. We made it. <laughs> we made they're it. Paying, they're paying us a lot of money. To this is honestly, this is all that we live on. Water and, core. and candy. He's given up monster. No, we, don't, well, we don't drink yeah, anything yeah. from anybody that doesn't sponsor us. 
That's right. Which means we're all going to start. We just live off candy and water. <laughs> <laughs> this candy's just fabulous. It's so great. And it's what keeps us going. It keeps our brains in a constant state of... Um, Coom. <laughs> Being able to suck and fuck and feel energized. Yeah. Slow brain death. You guys did a scene uh, like, you know, 20, 30 minutes ago. Uh, groundbreaking stuff, as per usual. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to title it um, To Catch a Stepdad. Mm-hmm. And it was about... Of a setup, she set me up. I thought I was talking to an anonymous 18 year old girl mm-hmm. that wanted to have se- horny old man sex. Mm-hmm. And then she revealed that it was her I'd been communicating with. Yep, his daughter. And, um, yeah. His horny daughter that had been flirting with him for years. Yeah. And really wanted to fuck him. And that was pissed, honestly, really fucking pissed that he would rather fuck an 18-year-old stranger than his own stepdaughter. Yeah. How could you fuck a stranger before you fuck your stepdaughter? Yeah. How dare you? How that, dare you? And that scene's been inspired by, like, uh, Ped Patrol on TikTok. Shout out, Ped Patrol. I've been seeing your mm-hmm. videos on my feed constantly. We made a Ped Patrol incest video. Yeah, except not... It was going to be a nice an 18-year-old. Yeah. Legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legal. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was just Age catch of a, consent. In the Walmart parking lot. Because I see all these like, old men video. going to the Walmart to meet with some like 14-year-old boy. <laughs> and then these guys get them to like call their wives and stuff and tell them that they're going to fuck a 12-year-old Yeah, I was like, Walmart. you better do every single thing that you sent to me or else I'm going to tell mom. And I just can't believe these guys call their wives. And like, t- and then it's like, they'll film all this. It's like three minutes long. And their wives crying on the yeah, phone. Yeah, couldn't they just be like, no, fuck you and just leave? It's not like the police are there or are the police I mean, there? that's what I would do. No, the cops. Nah, but I'm not meeting kids at Walmart for sex. I'll tell you that the much cop. right now. Cops like, don't care? No, actually, well, like what I've read is like when guys do that, the, like the, the pedo hunter guys, it actually fucks up the cop's case because like the mm. evidence gets all fucked up. Yeah. And it becomes a whole mess. But maybe that's so why they, they actually like, do that because like the cops, free. the cops don't even want anything to do with it, maybe or something. Because yeah. like they'll say like, "Hey, we're calling the cops unless you call your wife and tell your wife that yeah, you're it's like, pedophile." Why you fucking call the cops? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, what's his wife gonna do? Yeah, divorce him. So, what, probably, the, so what is what is the, the the pedos secretly are investing in ped patrol so they can just like? Yeah, I don't know. Get off free. I just I remember something what, fishy's going on. I just fishy. I enjoy the content. It's violently cringe. <laughs> Like most things. Yeah. I like think you're things. the person who sent me a clip of that. The one of the Oh, dude. I'm sure and it's I've like, sent you a few. It's like, so you wanted to fuck the dad and the daughter? And he's like, I never said I wanted to fuck yeah, the dad. Yeah, there was a nice uh, Toyota Tacoma owner. Uh, he was like seven years old. Who drove her to shots a fired. house. and <laughs> Shots fired at Tacoma owner. Average <laughs> Tacoma owner <laughs> driving over to fuck a grown man and his daughter, who was like mm-hmm. supposed to be 13. Yeah. I was, I was going to say and something. And he was, he was very about it. It, that had not been his first time doing something like that. No, and he think. was not that ashamed. I think it actually was. <laughs> they were like, they were like, so you wanted to fuck the dad and the daughter? He said, I never wanted to fuck the daughter. And he was like, okay, so you <laughs> just admitted you want to fuck the dad. Honestly, I, not to defend him because I'm not, but that's a good <laughs> that's a good out is to be like, no, I was told I was after the dad. How old is he? 48? Yeah, I want that. Yeah. I want that, you know. Yeah, what I'm I mean? just super gay. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just really gay. Yeah. You know, because I saw one on YouTube where it was like this fat guy in his 40s and he was bald. And, uh, you know, obviously he's a, he's a creature like a lot of them are. And um, That makes it hotter. Yeah, and like they pull up at his house and his mom's there and, you know, they're like, they have the phone with the message and they're like, you see this, Brian? You see this, Brian, where you told this little girl you wanted to lick her, you know, you wanted to lick her or whatever? And then they show it to the mom who's standing right next to them. Mm-hmm. And the mom looks at it and the mom's like, mom's like, oh, gosh, Brian... Brian, what are we going to do with you, Brian? I'm going to take away your phone. This guy's 40. And his mom's like, Brian, you're going to get yourself into big trouble doing this again. Like she kind of, I guess, knew that he was like a weirdo. Yeah. And then on top again. of that, the pedo hunters are making fun of him. What are we going to do with this guy? ASMR. I, dude, if I, had a, if I had a firearm right now. It's just Literally, like, what are we going to do with him? Just like Amaranth. At dude. this point, this podcast, we just need to... Kick him off. Yeah. <laughs> this needs to be the needs to be the Alex. He Adam goes, sh- We're gonna talk about some important shit today. Immediately just oh Gandhi's a rapist, Gandhi yeah. porn. Yeah, Gandhi sex. Let's talk about pedos. Pet patrol. <laughs> Pet patrol. You are the old He goes, last time we talked about AIDS too much. <laughs> oh, this time we just need to talk about pedos. I'll be better. You are the biggest obstacle to your own show. Yeah. <laughs> to deep. his own life and happiness, yeah. really. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that, he, that's been very well, That's obvious. fine. I'm, going, I'm joining the military very, again very soon. I'm going back in the, in the Marines. I got a letter from Kamala the other day. If you're going, I'm going. Back. 
I hope whoever listens to this. If you're going, we're all going. We're all going back in. Oh, they won't let me in. I'm, I'm we're quitting. Gonna, we're um, going. To, we'll be in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, very soon. We're going to be picking up cigarette butts on Saturday. This is what they say. They say the, a podcast is the beginning of someone's <laughs> slow decline. Oh, yeah. So we started this podcast. Yeah. We made it like what? We, we've done like five episodes together. I think you've we been, quit. Yeah. You've been on like, the, you've been the on like f- I think four of them. Almost. This might be the fifth one. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you're the only reason people watch this shit. So. Well, really, my <laughs> really my feet. I mean, just for you in general, people love yeah. you. All the comments are like, oh my god. Th- out of like the hundred comments we got, <sighs> they're all like, I love Stella. And then, you guys love me? And then we need to see Papa Adams on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. When's so, Papa Adams coming on? Yeah, when are you going to fly them down here? Hopefully soon. Yeah, gotta bring him. We yeah. got to pick his brain. Yeah. I might like him more than him. I think you will. Yeah. Because he's very, they're like very similar. He's yeah. like, he's like Papa Adams. I just, should, I need to, I need, we should, he should come down here and we do a YouTube vlog where I buy him a Urus. That'd be fucking sick. Like a bright that? orange. Then we're getting the Urus. And he's just and like, 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 I don't that. even want this. I'm like, dad, you're buying it. <laughs> And he's like, all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm buying it for you. I'm <laughs> buying my dad a car he doesn't want. <laughs> I need I, you to flex hard up there. He's, he's going to be like, it's not it, not as big as a Raptor was. I can't dad, put I it, just want you to be proud of me. I can't put as much stuff. <laughs> I can't put as much stuff. Yeah. I don't know what to do He bought this. He bought his dad a, the ra- a Raptor like three and a half years ago. Like what? December 2019, you got a form. Is right? that what you have? Yeah, yeah. So you have the same car? Well, I was trying to be like dad, yeah. Yeah, everyone wants to be Pop Adams. He's a king. But I want to like, be him too. But he he bought him the rap. He bought it like brand new. It was brand new, right? Mm-hmm. He bought it brand new like December 2019. And he told me like a month ago, he talked to his dad. His dad's like, it's got 5,000 miles on it. <laughs> like three and a half years. Just, oh, bro, not even that much. Wait, no? does he use he's a different car? That. He just doesn't leave the no, house. No, he's retired. He's <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's yeah. Chilled. It's so it's so fucking. Cool. He just drives to like the, the Can, Chinese does he, does and liquor store. Does he need a play sometimes. toy? Because I'm happy to just move up there, well, and just and just be his little. Mama thing. Adams is still in the picture, so we got. Yeah, but every <laughs> every older man needs a play toy, you know. I mean, she is. She does work a lot. She's got a small business that she's doing very successful. Yeah, with, his, so. his mom's like a Fortune 500. Whatever, I'll CEO. settle for the son. Yeah, I'll be his play toy. You get two right point, now, they're you get they're, 2. they're, they're yeah. probably eating and, and watching this in the future, and they're. Papa Adams, I didn't mean it. <laughs> so just, I love you, mom. Creating an awkward situation. My mom no. probably be fine with it, though. I mean, you she'd know, be like, she's probably looking and she'd be like, "You wouldn't know what to do with her." <laughs> my dad's like <laughs> eating Chinese. Like, well, no, it beats me. She pop, she pop my heart. <laughs> <laughs> she my heart. <laughs> I have a stroke. <laughs> so many guys say that to me. They're like, "Oh, I couldn't handle you." <laughs> and I'm just like, "Why? <laughs> like, why?" Because you're because uh, yeah. people don't know how to have sex, man. And Nobody they don't. Do that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I'm pretty fucking simple to please, honestly. Well, I think it's like when you think I'm gonna go in there and do all these fucking well, tricks. I think when you're like a guy. Well, to you, yes, to you, it's normal. But to, to uh, the average guy, it's like, holy oh, shit! Nobody's <laughs> ever done some shit like that. And you're like, I'm just sucking your cock. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> like I'm having a heart attack, and I'm just like, get, like licking yeah. their dick. Yeah, well, that's the thing. <gasps> what do I do? I don't know what to do next. I, I've never done this before. Well, because because as as a civilian, as a as a civilian in this in this, uh, I'm adjacent to the industry. I'm not a porn person. Um, you are a sex worker. Please, <laughs> He's a sex worker. Please, the, the people at my church get very upset when you say that. <laughs> but I, I think it's like when you see a porn chick, it's like you think that the the expectations are way higher. Because they do yeah. it, because they're like, you know, they like fuck I'm for a living. Never gonna compare. Yeah, exactly. That's when it's true. like, I don't know, a lot of like the chicks we shoot with, they have like regular boyfriends who don't do porn. Yeah, we stuff. just like regular night. Like the best sex is just regular, simple I, little sex. Yeah, you know I what mean, I mean. Sometimes we do little crazy things. But not, yeah, you know. Well, I like. I mean, I, I'm, I, you know, I prefer BBC myself, but you know, regular is fine. Oh, you're also a foot enjoyer. <laughs> You are the you are I do the, love feet. You are the lowest of the low. I would, I, in, my, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, I listen. He'll pop uh, not everybody. Tricks. Not everybody has good taste. Okay. Not, not everybody. Nobody has. You good can't taste, taste anything because you. you've been gentleman, licking so many feet. You weirdo. Good taste. Uh, not everybody's <laughs> no a gentleman taste. gamer like I am. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I like the finer things in life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Well, I've heard from very many people that are like, "Oh my god!" Like you got to tell Alex he has impeccable taste in games. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Games, cars, feet. Women. Women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. women's, yeah. No. You do have good, I will, because me and him talk about it a lot, uh, about how we're, we're not very wealthy yet and might, might never be. Um, and I'm like, well, here's the good thing, man, is that you don't have a lot of money, but you do have a very good taste. 
So, because yeah, at least even even no matter how you go out, you can go out broke, whatever. At least you know yeah. you became a purveyor of the finer things in life. Yeah, and I'll tell you right right now, my Rolls Royce is a 2017. Okay, so it makes it what five, six years, seven that years old. That is so six. pathetic. Yeah, that is six years old. I'm with her on that. But <laughs> I will tell you, it's probably the best spec wraith. Rolls Royce race wraith that was ever created. It is yeah, no, that's accurate. That, that I, we because I have thought about financially stretching myself into a, a vehicle that was a couple years newer, and all the specs are heinously bad. They're terrible. <laughs> Even the ones that are good, man of taste, they're not as yeah. good as my spec. It's like this table, which is yeah, old as fuck, but nice. Yeah, which is it's a dark blue, bright white interior with orange accents and bright warm wood. It's almost orangish, but not in the over the top way. It's wow. it's most of these other specs, they're either just like black or they're like even if they have like a white, it's like a it's like a it's like a cream white with a dark white. It looks disgusting, makes me want to throw up. Yeah. And it does not have the Starlight headliner because that's cringe. Yeah. Okay. That's cringe and stupid. And I I have orange raptor and a black leg. Yes. And a black arm. Yeah. And people are not gonna remember me fondly. No, they won't. And mm. uh <laughs> I'm gonna so, throw your body in the in the You dumpster. guys teach me so much about Having good taste, we try. I mean, you have very good taste. Thank you. Not in cars. No, but that's but a good. I could. But that's a good thing. Thanks. You know, you, you're like when a, I eventually someday make enough money to buy a nice car, I'm gonna tell gonna, him to just. I'm just gonna say, you just go pick it out for well, me. Well, you're gonna buy my G wagon, right? Yeah, when you run it into the ground. <laughs> well, that could be next. My week. only nice car I ever allow myself to have is just his old G wagon. Emerald He's like, green. Can you buy it sooner? I need emerald a green G wagon. This thing. With a tan interior, wood. No carbon fiber in that. You Gorgeous. people are pigs. You don't need to put carbon fiber in everything. Enough about. We're, okay, listen. We're this. This is my show. Yeah, still, we're set, yeah. And we're gonna be. We're gonna stay on track. Let's talk about something. We important just. We people. just made a TikTok video about how we're gonna help people have se- sex on the internet. Yeah. Okay. We're and not they, gonna. We're not helping people. All right. It's just. A, it's a. T- it's a couple of tips. We're help, yeah. we're and I want you to say the tips because I don't want to get canceled. Me. I don't care. Him. Oh, okay. You can cancel me. There's nothing. They I, I'm useless. I serve no purpose. Give the tips. Number one, be a fucking woman. Yeah. So, like, no, the number one life hack as far as getting into the porn industry is got, definitely be a, be a hot woman. <laughs> yeah. Like you see I mean, it's a hot, attractive like, woman. I ain't just but you didn't tell us anything. That's truly the bet. The porn revolves around cute, beautiful. I, I, Not even. Don't have to be that cute. Just be a woman. Yeah. Yeah I, mean, yeah, I mean, I just think like... The if, cuter you are, the more money you'll make. If Again, coming from a, someone who is uh, a pastor at his, at his local church and is not involved in any way in this industry. <laughs> um, if you're a guy and you want to do jizz stuff, as someone who's been around jizz stuff for way too long now, you have to... You got to be in good shape. You don't have to be like crazy good looking. You know, six, seven inch piece is fine. You can even get away with five if you're maybe on the thicker side. But really, the thing is, is you have to be able to fuck on command. Whether you whether you think the chick is hot or not is completely irrelevant, right? Because we'll shoot with a lot of chicks who I'm like, oh, I would not have sex with her, and not even just because she's a woman, just yeah. because in general. And he can just go to that mental place. Yeah, and he's able to because he is, uh, he's like Rome when Caligula was in charge. He's uh, a peak degenerate. He's able to do that and able to perform. And a lot of guys think like, oh, I get to fuck hot chicks all day. It's like. Yeah, bro, but it might be a hot chick who you don't think is hot. Yeah. Might not well, yeah, be a hot chick. There's, you got you to you you be able to deal with situations where it's like, the chick's like pretty hot, but then maybe she... Her, right. bad attitude. her attitude is 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 uh, questionable. Uh, maybe she's said some things to you that are not conducive to interaction. Uh, maybe there's smells going on that you're not uh, familiar with. Or we're fond of. There's a lot you, but, but ideally, cause like most of the girls I work with, I get, you know, cause I have my own, uh, you know, fake company that I, you know, I film things with on the, on a, on a, on a cell phone. <laughs> People on TikTok and that. Oh my They're like, who the fuck are you? Who's letting you have sex with women and film it? Everybody. The whole yeah. fucking internet. Literally <laughs> women, women are begging. Yeah. It's please like, film me. Yeah, please. So it's like most of the time I'm booking, uh, you know, I'm booking to female talent that I think will be make good videos, which basically means I think they're hot. But at times, you know, there's maybe not, there's certain ladies where it's like, well, this other one's not available, but this one is, and we're going to make it work. It's fine. Yeah. But but the thing is, I'm a violently uh, a horny person. Yes. And I 
so there's I don't have to be I can I can make it work. But to to be a guy and be successful in porn, whether it's you're shooting for team skeet five times a day and making thirty five thousand dollars a year, or you're running your own production company and just amateur OnlyFans type stuff or whatever, you have to be very sexually flexible and like have a lot of experience having sex with different types of women, men, whatever. I mean, but women just women's fine. Yeah, this- it's not as good, but. <laughs> You gotta be fle- you gotta be used to a lot of different experiences with a lot of different types of women, or it's mm-hmm. like you're gonna run into issues, some issues pretty quickly, mm-hmm. almost immediately. Yeah, probably immediately. <laughs> probably, probably the first shoot. Yeah. This has got to be a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You just you have you, you have to be a you know because every like you have to be a fucking pervert. I know. I think of like a little pervert. Yeah, if you look at the people who were like really successful at this, they were all degenerates before they started doing it. Yeah, and you got to be degenerate. And then, even me. Yeah, and then it was just, and then it's like a natural thing where it's like, oh, I, I don't want to use any of my brain really anymore yeah. for this. Oh, stuff. I could make money off my degeneracy it, instead of it ruining my life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, she's you know. It's got to be your last option. <laughs> You know, that well, is, well, that is kind of true. That makes it the best. It's cause like kids will like, you know, I mean, adults, uh, you know, um, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, bro. Let's go, oh, man. 18 year olds are kids to me. Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> as I, I was saying, I was talking about kids asking me questions. About TikTok. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. But like people will hit the, they'll be, they'll be like, Oh, dad, Alex, what, uh, uh, why'd you, why'd you get into porn? Yeah. Why'd you get into the corn? Why'd you? It's like, bro, I didn't have a lot of uh, good options to really to really be successful. A lot of times in, in in porn, I know it's crazy, but a lot of times it's like you know, not your first choice. Yeah. It's not the you know. It was like, well, I, I was you know, I was going to think about going to Harvard, but then I decided just to move to South Florida. Yeah. And uh, having debauched sex was you know and, taking and up too much of my time. Fuck old men. Yeah. You know, for money. So I just kind of, yeah. it kind of rolled the dice and I just, I picked the point. Yeah. This, I mean, this was my You have to become, re- you too. get to a point of real, being realistic. Yeah. But I, but see, like, I, I just figured like, I, you know, I was a multiple college dropout, uh, kicked out of the military, <laughs> uh, college. had like shitty retail jobs and warehouse jobs, construction. And I thought my penis seems decent. I'm very horny. I have sex with people off Craigslist, uh, for fun. <laughs> I wonder if pornography is for me. So uh, well, answer yes. <laughs> he, goes, he goes to the meeting. Is pornography for you? Yeah, he essentially He's goes. Like, yeah. He essentially goes. Hmm. Society has completely discarded me. <laughs> what can I do? Ah, I can fuck for a living, which is fine. That's understandable. Yeah. You know, this is yeah. my this is my last resort. I had nothing. You know, there was this was the end of the road for me. You really do have to get to the point where you're like, you know, I think I want to discard society. Well, because there's still like a weird. Because if you still care and shit, it's gonna fuck with you. Because well, I mean, the, the the crazy thing to me is like nowadays ev- everyone wants to be a, a, a fucking fake social media influencer, right? Yeah, it's a hack. And, and in my mind, it's like what, and and, pe- and like everyone shits on like OnlyFans girls and guys doing it and everything, and it's like saying, oh, you have no dignity. Your dad doesn't love you or whatever. You know, my dad doesn't love me, and I'm not getting fucked on camera. It doesn't. There are plenty of people's dads don't give a shit about him. Not yet. Not exactly. yet. Exactly. Keyword. Not yet. He may, maybe he'll love me one if day. Once you get the perspective to realize it doesn't fucking matter what anyone else thinks, or or and also society makes everybody unhappy and everybody's lives suck, then you're like, mm, wow. Well, I I just think I do what and, I want. And like, if this somehow leaks into Tradcath YouTube and they get over here, we're going to be in a little <laughs> bit of trouble. But. I just think like I want them to yell at me. I, I have a degradation kink. That's kind of hot. I watch, <laughs> like you watch someone on like Instagram reels or TikTok do a prank and fuck with someone, and it's like so nightmarishly cringe and embarrassing, yeah. all for them to make no money. Yeah, you and guys then, are cringe and broke. And then you watch, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're broke. And then you watch. At someone, least I got a six year old Rolls Royce. That's true. Thank God you said Rolls Royce. The end of that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> but we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Just like SWAT team. <laughs> but it's like I like what like what's more self degrading like having sex on camera that you want to do or trying to force some cringe prank video because you think it's gonna make you go viral and you're gonna have some fake career. It's, yeah, all it's you guys like, are fucking yeah. losers. But all the most of the trad dudes are so like. And, you know, and sometimes they they have some funny posts, okay? They do. But, yeah. like, they're, 
they're all subscribing to OnlyFans. They're they're oh, yeah. they're they're consuming so much pornography. And they're going on yeah. NoFap every two or three days. Yeah. Like, just, Trying to stay clean. The more taboo yeah, clean for five this minutes, is, it's the better like, it's it does. Such a, it's such a, it's like, and, and even with the OnlyFans chicks, it's like, it's only become such a, because I've gotten into arguments with these with these bug people, uh, talking shit about how disgusting OnlyFans girls are. It's just like, I'm like, and their families and stuff, when it's like, their families ask them all for money. Yeah, no one all gives the, a fuck. And then they're like, weirdos. well, most of these OnlyFans, they're not making any money. It's like... Bro, you guys wouldn't even talk about this except for the fact that all these chicks have made millions and millions of dollars doing this. Yeah. That's the only reason it's such In a thing. In real life, no one really cares. Your family asks you for money. They're like, oh, like this is cool. Yeah. Like, no one gives a fuck. Bro, it's not that serious. Bro, if my daughter did it and she's buying me a, a, a fucking uh, a, a, ch a Charger scat pack wide body, yeah. I'd be like, honey, do you need someone to film for you? You need help? Literally. How are you marketing yourself? Are you doing a good job? You know, it's just like, I don't know. It's just... It, it's very clear to me at this point that society has sold their soul for for little monetary or fake internet notoriety. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how you get that. Yeah. Like, there really is no divide of like, oh, you're an OnlyFans person. Oh, you're an Instagram person. Because I'm going to tell you right now, and if anyone watching this, my Instagram reels have been flooded with these fucking fake e-com, Forex, mm -hmm. stock trader, user-generated content grifters. Yeah. And I, I would do very, I would do very not good things to you people. Well, every, I, you're they're, fucking they're, see, they're, they're all scammers. And the one thing about us, we don't scam. We yeah. sell a legitimate product that makes you happy. Yeah. yeah. That's, I, that's a, or, or some people, you know, I mean, like, you know, question like, you know, my morality or then be like, wow, Alex seems like a good person despite his job. Like, like, oh, yeah. Where it's like, bro, what about this makes me a. It's like, I just yeah. fuck. I have sex it's with like people. It's like, you work, you work it's for a house most, insurance company. It's, it's the you most. You kill people. Yeah. yeah. It's like the most. You basic, deny people money for their cancer treatment. Normal kind of thing you can do. And it's like, it's a no bullshit. I'm not trying to fucking sell, scam old people into buying yeah. weird medical boots that they don't need. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to tell the world that, like, I don't have sex. I, I can't wait. And nobody, and it's like nobody's forcing anybody to watch my videos. It's like you don't have to watch. There's them. a market. You don't have to give me any money. You don't like. You can do whatever you want. I can't wait for the People top. Are weird. I'm not coming in your living room pulling my cock out. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> I will if you invite me in. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't like how often Please me me mind. and you are thinking the same exact thing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's becoming scary. What's yeah. the new thing? What's the thing? No, me and him just we have the ability. We just tend to think the same exact thing. Yeah, like we'll text each other the same like shit. Like it's that's because you guys only hang out with each other. Yeah, and you're starting good. to morph into one. That's a good point. Yeah, we're becoming yeah. the the monocoque. That's why I like both of you because they're just the same person. Yeah, I mean the monocoque. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. But I can't wait for the top comment on this to be like, COPE in all caps and just has hundreds of likes. I hope that's how... And I will like that comment. I hope that's how What does goes. that mean? COPE. Like, this is how you're coping? Yeah. Well, it's just you're justifying... Yeah, yeah, you're justifying your disgusting existence by saying it's fine. Yeah. Which, I mean, every... You know, there's a lot... Everyone, Whatever. Everything's a COPE. That's no, but do. see, I fundamentally, in the, from the bottom of my balls and inside my bones, <laughs> know my existence is more meaningful and more... Uh, I completely agree. Uh, more better. <laughs> more, more better than most of the fake people who think that they're religious and good people. Oh, and yeah, fucking no, absolutely. We're I getting know. actual meaning out of life, and I don't. I'm not just saying that as a cope. Like genuinely. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's actually funny because like when we first start, when me and him first started hanging out years ago, and like uh, he came over in one of the in, in one of the car in one of like the the McLaren or whatever. And my mom immediately saw it. And when, you know, she is like any woman, when she sees money, she's instantly lights up and is very excited about <laughs> what's going on. Uh, and she's like, oh any my, woman. she's like, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. She's like, can I ride in it someday? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he's like, she's like, but not today. And she like walks away or whatever. And like a couple weeks later, she was in the car with my brother. And my, my mom's like, what does, what does Alex do for work? And I, I, or it was something like that, and, Mac, and my brother like let it slip that he did porn, mm -hmm. and so immediately, my mother's like, "Oh, he must have no morals. Must be a terrible fucking person." Yeah, but see that that was before she saw the McLaren. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it is. It's before, and then he, yeah, and then she when she saw the McLaren, she was just like, "And then he, Ooh, like, yeah. oh, he's and an then, legitimate businessman." Yeah, man. and then and then he pulls up in the McLaren, and she's like, "Alex is such a nice boy." <laughs> yep. And then she's like, "Money he, talks," and she's like, "Can you do porn to me?" <laughs> And I'm like, fuck no. And then she's like, how much was how much was that call? Like 140? I'm like, mom, like 350. And she's like, oh my fucking God. 
It's crazy. And she kept, for, <laughs> dude, for, and she's like, I, she's like, tell Alex I said hi. Every time I, she'd be like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going to hang out with him for a little bit. She's like, well, tell him I said hi. I, he's such a, <laughs> I him, said, tell him I said hi. Make sure he knows I'm thinking about him. And me, like, and, 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 I, and I love my mom and she's it's great. It's a sexy existence and once like, you realize. For, like, for months, she's like, well, can't you just do what Alex does? Because I was doing tech stuff and I was like, eh, this kind of sucks. And she's like, well, can't you like, just I do. I want my son to be cool. Yeah. She's like, can't you just do what he does? And I'm like, hey, mom, why don't you start an OnlyFans? <laughs> and she's like, you would say that she to you. She would do good. Um, she's like, yeah, you met her. Stella's mm-hmm. met her. And she's like, you would say that to your own mother. I'm like, you're saying it to your own <laughs> fucking son. I love your mom. You know, yeah, she's hilarious. She's fucking bro. awesome. He sat in my kitchen for like an hour and a half talking about how he did gay porn for years and years. And so his, cool. his entire career arc. She's so sweet. She'll just sit there and listen. So interested. Oh, yeah. Because she thinks she's a therapist. It's great. But it's true, like, this this job is very sexy. Like, people want to write it off as, like, oh, they're unhappy. They must be fucking disgusting. Then you meet him or anyone that makes good money and is happy, and it's like, wow, that's fucking baller life. Well, you just well, want to live, and, like, I'm a 90s porn star. And the thing is, star. with this industry, though, to, to be fair, there's a lot of people that are not making great money. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, and then there's and there's people that where it's like they're not having a great time. There's some girls that get into it, and they're looking for just fast money, and... You know, and it's like they're not really that into it, and they're not really making their own content. They're you know they're just working for you know all these different companies yeah. day in day out, and it's like you know there's people you know people it's it's not for. But the thing is, it's like you have to like really, if you don't like having sex with lots of guys before you get, you probably is not for. Like you. we said, like personality yeah. is so important. Like this has to be a lifestyle thing for you, even outside of porn. Like this has to be a thing yeah. you're interested in in life. And the, and the thing is, to though, too, is it. like, you, you know, but there's a lot of different, you know, you, you don't have to film. You can just like what you did, just get on OnlyFans yeah. and just have your own thing. Well, the thing I is, my, you, have to, yeah. you have to, you have to, um, it's not as easy as just making OnlyFans when you have 500 Instagram followers and thinking you're going to make a bunch yeah. of money. No. Why don't you, Stella, why don't you speak on, uh, uh, on your experience and how, how to be a little bit successful with, with If OnlyFans. you're a girl, yeah. I can speak for as a girl. I mean, maybe it's true for guys too, but not I feel really like it's no. way. If, you probably know better <laughs> for guys. For girls, yeah. I think the best way, one, be cute, whatever, have the right personality to go into this. Like be Ask somebody genuinely else if you're into cute sex. too as well. Yeah. Before yeah, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't be don't, genuinely yeah. into sex. Be confident in putting yourself in new sexual situations. You like sexual challenges. Um and then I would think the best is to make your own content first before even working with anybody else. Don't think you're gonna get your fan base off of working with other people. I just don't think that's I think that's a lot of fucking work. I yeah. think the best is to learn how to market yourself and market your own content and enjoy making your own content. Cause even I did my first mainstream scenes recently. I did a girl, girl one, which was fun. And then I did a boy, girl one. And I called him after and I told him, I was like, if I, cause they were trying to get me to do like four scenes a week after that. They were like, let's do this one and this one, this one, this one, all in one week. And I was like, if I had gone into porn like this, like horny, I love having sex. I lo- I love making porn. After a month, I would have been burnt out and exhausted and I wouldn't have had my personality left and I wouldn't have been horny anymore and I would I would have probably left the industry. Like that shit's hard work for $1,000. You work like a 12-hour day for 1000 bucks. It's exhausting. I would be burnt out. So I think the best way to go into it if you want to actually capitalize on having a kinky, horny personality and being hot, the only way to stay hot and horny is make your own content, do stuff you enjoy, and figure out how to market yourself. And, and please get third party validation of your hotness before yes. you know who's out. into you. Like I, I knew dirty, homeless, military men love me. They love guys that the guys that like the asshole, guys that like little trashy sluts that they can slut out in the parking lot. They fucking love <laughs> me. Uh Older men love me. And I knew that for a long time. So I was like, all right, that's my market. So that's why I started talking about anal, talking about a being a, you know, being an innocent <laughs> little whore that, you know, gets taught new things. That's how I marketed myself. You have to well, know it, your market. It, yeah. It, it, and you have to start from a, ideally start from a place of like some kind of objectivity, being able to like look at the world around you, mm-hmm. kind of understand some know things that are going on. Know your place in the world. And, and know <laughs> how you kind of fit in the world. 
be honest about that. Don't think that yeah. you're the main character. Don't you think that be it, so you matter at all. You got to be so honest with yourself. In, yeah, a in, lot in of people porn. are very delusional. Yeah. They're like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to go into porn. I'm going to be treated like a princess. And like, I am, you know, God's gift to this earth. When in reality, if you're going into porn, even as a hot girl, you're like, I'm here because guys like seeing my titties bounce while I ride their dick. And they want me to brain, be a brainless yeah. sex doll. And it, yeah, like you so have for, to be aware of your role. For me, when I started filming my own stuff, it was like I was very acutely aware of like I'm nobody important. Nobody gives a fuck about me. No, uh, I have barely any money. Yeah, I want to fuck hot women in my apartment. How do I make that work? That seems like a. a but I figured it out yeah. because I was like, oh, I have to just make really simple videos, and then uh, they could be my uh, uh, little stepsister. People like that. And then I get to kind of do what I want. And then like, I can, I had to work with what I had. I knew like, if I was just going to be like, I'm Brazzers too. Yeah. yeah you <laughs> like, honestly, I, I knew like I could, I wasn't, I, this, this life I've created for myself, I was not entitled to any of it. Not even like a little bit mm -hmm. of it. I had to etch it out of the fucking sheer cliff face of the universe. That's exactly how I a, felt when I started. <laughs> like this didn't exist before. Girls yeah. weren't just like. Like I didn't, I had zero followers. I didn't know that I could just like, that any of this would happen. Yeah. I was like, every day I'm just going to get one new sub and I'm going to make a little bit of money because I don't want to fucking do anything else. You kind of do have to have like a full ego death and a death of all hope and everything. Yeah. And, and then you're like, let me just make something cool and creative and quirky that everyone thinks is disgusting. And that's the thing with, with this too great. is like, well, I mean, like there's a lot of people with like work stuff, you know, where they're just like, oh, with business or whatever, it doesn't have to be something you love or you're into, but like, if it is something you're kind of into, it makes it so yeah. much easier to be, be like committed to it. Then you can actually etch it out of. Yeah. And, that, and that's why like there was, there was, there was kinds of content I knew early on that I knew were popular that I could do, but I didn't really, I wasn't into it as much. Yeah. So I knew it was like the smartest move is to like, look at what is kind of popular and what kind of works out there. And it's like, what of those things am I kind of into the most? Yeah. Let me focus on that and just, and then just and just grow it and stay consistent and and know that I'm entitled to fucking nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, you can't you can't get into this even as a hot chick. I mean, so you know. But if you're already an internet celebrity, then that helps. Like, that, I mean, be a large internet celebrity and show your titties. That helps. That's, that's a great also job. a life hack. Yeah, but it's like if you're not, and even if you're just a hot chick, you can't just expect to make a shitload of money just starting OnlyFans and yeah. posting pictures of your you feet. You honestly shouldn't even go into it to make a ton of money or to yeah. be famous or anything. Like you should go into it because you are genuinely a horny degenerate and this is the only life you want to have. And, and like, you, e even if it just pays your rent and that's it, Yeah, you're like you don't, you want to just do something that you're kind of into yeah. and you don't want to work at Staples yeah. for the rest of and your life. And then you will be rewarded with so much money and Because that's so what I just, I, I wanted to, when I started filming my videos, I just wanted to, yeah, pay my rent and not Same. have to get be able to do something I liked and was fun and not have to, you know, get a job at the, the garden yeah. center at Home Depot. I was like, I actually want to be proud of myself you'd have been a when great, I die. You'd have been a great garden Oh, center. yeah. No, I could stack pallets of dirt. Like, no, uh, I think I you'd have been a real and, and once you go into this job and you're that kind of person, you'll never go back. Like, this is literally the best yeah, career yeah, in the world. Yeah. Like, you'll never, you'll never reconsider. If this is actually for you, you'll love it and well, you'll figure out how to make it work. Well, I think it's a lot like kind of like, you know, being an athlete or kind of anything that you like to really... athletes. That's right. Elite, elite athletes. Yeah. Yeah, and not in the good I'm sports. I'm a butthole athlete. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. No, but it's just like, it, it's it's like anything. Like, like if you're not super interested in it, you're not going to make it good. It's like this podcast, mm -hmm. right? It's dog shit. Yeah. Before, Chase your dreams, kids. Before, You'll get rewarded. Jesus Christ himself came down to me in a dream and told me to make this podcast. Mm. And then he gaped me. And it turned out it was... But that's why I don't think that many... Like, Lucifer. lots of girls ask, like, should I do this? Like, I wouldn't ever tell anybody to go into the industry. It's got to be something that comes from so deep within. Yeah, I, I've it's had... It's got to be something that you just know you have to do and you don't want to do anything else. Yeah, I've, I've had girls hit me up on, on Instagram or, or TikTok and stuff, and then they're like, they're like, oh, I've never... I want to, like, film my first scene with... I'm like, are you sure? Like... Have you really thought this through? Yeah. Like, because despite what some people may think on the internet, I'm not trying to groom anyone. I'm not trying to uh, do anything with someone who's not completely into that. Exactly. I uh, will lose my boner if I think you're not, <laughs> if you're doing something that you're being manipulated into, I cannot be sexually attracted to that, unfortunately. Thank uh, God. The one thing are, he's not into. Yeah. <laughs> That, that and not into uh, <laughs> rape. Unfortunately. There's two things. There's two things Alex Adams hates, except for consensual rape, rape, coercion, and uh, personal finance. Two things. What about consensual non-consent? 
that's so fake. I I, I feel I don't. I, I, I want see, I, I want him even, to break into I, my house at night and yeah, tie see, me up and rape me. That shit. I'll not. I'd rather not have sex. I'd rather not do any of that. <laughs> I just. I feel like the to the. Pro- <laughs> The problem with that, so that's, you there's gotta, such a for, weird line. If, for for that experience, you got to get to, I'm too old and too tired to do any of that. He's like, I sense. just want to stick it in the I don't want to fucking put up a ski mask on and put you in the back of a panel van I rented. And Wait, that it, would like, be it sounds so kind of fun, but it's Will like, I'd rather- you take me out to the woods and tie me up to a tree? I'd rather hire- there for days. I'd rather hire someone <laughs> to, do to all give you that. that experience and yeah. then watch- from the like CCT TV camp, you know. Of, <laughs> Honestly, I've always wanted like, to do that. Look how happy she is. Consent, consent. And you come back and you're like, "Daddy, thank you so much. It was so much fun." Maybe that's the new. Is that the new? Will new, you do that? For the me? new genre: consensual non-consent. CNC. Cuck holding. Consensual non-consent. Oh cuck yeah, holding. yeah. You like you're so you're forced to watch. Yeah, because like he's watching on the CCTV <laughs> as they take you out in the van or whatever. Yeah, you. He's a cuck for watching rape. Wow, yeah. that's great. I that's just, actually probably I'm actually little, I'm kind of like that. I'm eating my little Japanese. Not really. Candy, so. <laughs> I'm I'm a, yeah, I yeah. I'm a cuck for watching consensual non-consent. Sure. Or ASMR. All right, we're getting too deep into this. Mango is the best one. Let's get back to the actual tips. So okay, we've we've uh, we've established that you need to. Have the right attitude. Attitude's everything. The right personality type. The right, but but then what? What, you, what, and, and what actions do you take? You know, and understand like what you got to watch a lot of porn. Number one, I mean, like, you got to like be, okay. understand like what you gotta what this shit. What strengths you have, and what your weaknesses and strengths are, you know, yeah. and what people enjoy, like what you have you to offer. You just got to be smart, honestly, and what you're into. Then, but okay. The, then what actions? People are like, all right, I I like it. I'm horny for it. Whatever. There is there any fucking path that you can give someone? Dude, hearing that in the headphones is so much worse, bro. And and mm. the, and the people let's just who, start doing ASMR. The people who watch it are going to mm. hear that too. Good. I, I'm about to explode out of my skin. Are you about to explode right now? <laughs> You're about to come, huh? Are you about in the to worst explode? Way. <laughs> in, in the I'm about explode to explode for me. In the worst. You can make a lot of money doing that. <laughs> we. <need, laughs> If Stella did like mommy dommy ASMR, mm, are you about to explode right now? Yes. Oh no. Are you using one hand or two? I'm in church. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. <sighs> Everybody really take exhale. a deep breath. You having a heart? You having a stroke? <laughs> now, now that you've nutted, let's get back to tips and tricks on make how sure to you eat it. Don't make waste this any. a job. <laughs> make sure you eat it. Jesus fucking Christ. Why aren't there places on the internet where I can just do stuff like that and make a lot of money? This you're, is it, right here. You're looking at it. YouTube. Pro, honestly, Patreon. You can do it on Patreon. You make probably make bank at it. Dude. Make like, JOI videos. Just, yeah, just ASMR. ASMR, like five mm, five dollars yeah. a month or something. Or, I'm not giving away a few people any uh, business tips. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, <laughs> su- subscribe to but Stella's but Patreon. The thing is, as, as a as a guy, as a guy trying to to get into porn, so you know, let's say you you got a decent piece. You know, you got, you know, maybe like six inches, you know, five or six, like there's, there's guys like that. I mean, and that's the thing ultimately though, if you're trying to make your own content, you can have fucking three inches, four inch. It doesn't, it's not that big of a deal if you're smart about it. If you know that there's certain kinds of content or, um, things you can make that are marketable and good, like it doesn't need to be big. If you're trying to do mainstream stuff, like you probably need at least six. What kind of Um, content's big right now? What's the biggest genres that if guys are looking into how to make the most money and make good content, they're going to either be what? Making incest? Uh, step family role play. Yes, that is <laughs> <laughs> That's the most corporate response I've ever <laughs> heard you step fucking family, give to anything in my whole play. life. Yeah, that is a, uh, that is a money maker. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. What, what and, then, the and, then, and then like that's blown up a lot of the... the the past few years, uh, for some reason, I don't know why. What's going to be next? I don't know who might have caused some of that to be popularity to rise. <laughs> but that's that's always been around since the beginning. I mean, look at Taboo. The original Taboo movie is very iconic. I mean. Um, but like, Roy and also right. like POV type stuff always, I mean, POV is always really popular. Um, you know, BBC, of course, people can't get enough BBC, you know, that's uh, delightful. Um, interracial, very big. Yeah. Um, then, you know, different types of amateur type uh, yeah. stuff. Uh, don't, you know, o- and, and don't the, over kink yourself. There's group. See, I mean, the thing is that there's, there's, there's kind of a thousand different ways to do it. Um, and like make different kinds of content that, that can be pretty popular. 
Um, I think you just got to really kind of like, I mean, my biggest thing is creating your own content is to really try to be like, how, how do I genuinely make this kind of like hot and cool? Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't just film anything or you can't even just put together a little bit of money and then you, you, know, you find an agent, uh, book a few girls, do a few shoots, um, do a few comes and film it and just throw it up on Pornhub and expect to make millions of dollars. No, you got to have a vision. Gonna, yeah, you got to have a vision. You got to have like, you, you got to have a kind of understanding of like what kind of thing you're trying to go for. Um, if, what you're, if you're confident in what you think is hot, yeah, you and, could do something and the, the thing is you should be able to like look at, I mean like, and, and this is the Alex Adams billion dollar advice. 100%. If you're going to try to make your own content as a, as a guy doing this, you need to be go, able to go on the go on the front page of Pornhub, see video, you know, and like look at the video. It's got five million views. You need to like look look at that th video thumbnail, the title, the content. Why is that have five million views? Because it's not fucking accident. A lot of uh, seething uh, cope enthusiasts online in all areas of of life will point at popular things or whatever and they'll say oh it's luck it's whatever it's this like it's not a fucking accident it's not, oh i used to see like when pornhub used to do like monthly video contests and they'd give like the top people like five thousand dollars thousand dollars or whatever there'd be all these like smaller account creators just deceiving in the comments being like oh, my videos never get featured you always feature they feature those people's videos like mine and some of these other girls because we get views because they good. perform and it's like they're trying to run a successful business. So it's like when they feature your video, the one time they did, and it got three extra mm -hmm. views, that's why. Because it's like not yeah. marketable content. You can't be – you can't just expect to get views. Like yeah, literally, you you could, I could change a, a, a thumbnail of a video and a title and it would – do completely differently. Yeah. So it's like, ideally like the content itself is pretty hot and people genuinely fuck with it, but it's like I, just even like on a tube site with the thumbnail you pick, does it look fucking hot? Can you look at it and, and mm -hmm. can you, t can you distinguish between like something being hotter than not? Yeah. Cause if you are in some headspace that everything is equally hot and everyone's yeah. beautiful, like that's fine. I'm, Good for you, but that's not reality. Yeah, no, that's, that's not. That's, that's not like for social media, and you kind of yeah. have to have that eye for everything. Like you need to know when a picture of you looks right and when it doesn't, and yeah. which to post and which will do better. Like you have to be able to discern between them, not just like oh, this looks like what other people think is hot, so it will work because usually that's not the case. You got to know for yourself like what is actually. Yeah. And it's like you got to be able to pay attention and start like learning about like what. Okay, and this video is like okay, like this. The, the way they did this was really hot. And like, mm -hmm. oh, people like this because of of this and the way she looks, and then the way the the title they used, the way they said it was like, oh, it captures your attention. It's like ideally with this, it's like you should be able to understand what things like captivate people's attention, mm -hmm. and then also, you know, hopefully hold it. Because it's one thing to get a, a click, get a view, but then for somebody to want to keep coming back mm -hmm. and be like, oh, this was actually hot. I busted a nut so hard, I almost stroked out, you yeah. know, like that. So it's like, it's, it, and then it's once you both. find that you can grind and it then, out and, and you commit just, yeah. to it and it will start to build and you have to actually commit to it. You can't post fucking two videos. And then yeah. And I, I've had guys, there was, there was one guy that hit me up uh, a few years back and he had a viral video on Pornhub that went crazy viral. It got like, I mean like 60 million views or something. Yeah. Maybe not quite that. I mean, it was like 20, 30. I think maybe it's up to 60 now, but it was like, you know, a nice, Cream pieing my stepsister in the bathroom, you know. Sometimes you cream pie your eighteen year old stepsister in the bathroom while the parents are home or something. And it like, it was great. He was never able to, from what I've seen, like he was never really able to like recreate that. And he'd hit me up, and, and I try to give him advice. It's like you got to be able to understand what about that worked, mm -hmm. and then like, and then redo it and redo it in different ways, and and other ideas and like, you know what I mean? Like it's like you, as you, as you're doing this, it's like, you're going to grow and figure out, okay, this didn't work as well. I thought this would work. Why didn't this work? Mm -hmm. It's like, Oh, probably because of this, this, this that thing. And it's like, you know, and like genuinely, if you're focused on that, like creating hot content in your own way, that like, you're going to get a decent amount of success. Mm -hmm. The thing is most people like, like amateur guys doing this or, or porn guys that, 
are just doing their own content or whatever. They, they don't have that kind of mindset at all. They don't have that, any kind of focus or objectivity. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like, might be nice, but our job have six year old Rolls Royce and uh, five year old McQuillan. Must be nice. It's like, yeah, it's fucking nice. It yeah, nobody fucking gave me that shit. I spent all my money on that dumb shit because I wanted to because I was like, how do I fucking make this shit hot? How do I make something actually good? And the amount of videos that you've posted, that's another thing. It's like, you're going to have to post a ton of shit that flops that you oh, learn yeah. from. Yeah, like, it's, it's like not just going to be a success. Day in, day out. And then and then too early on, like, barely even, not really even have enough money to, like, really t do this kind of thing. Like, how do I do content traits? How do I fucking, like, make this work? How do I get the most out of this content mm -hmm. and film in a short period of time? And, like, it, it, you know, it's like, you got to really want to, like... You can't you can't expect to just pull your dick out, have ladies fillet it, and make tons of money. Because I even have girls in my DMs that are like, I just love sex and like I just really I think I don't want to work and I just want to quit college and like I just think porn will be amazing. And it's like you have no idea what porn actually means. It's just a lot of people that kind of want to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna take the easy way out and show my titties and my body and like everything's just gonna be great. It's like, that's really Sounds not nice. how it is. It's like, Sounds you got to <laughs> want to suffer. You got to be like, I'm willing to just suffer for this. It's not an easy way out until it is. Yeah. Years later. I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoy suffering. But it, and early on to me, too, is like, I was like, okay, I'm in this position to kind of make this work. I know a few ladies. I got a tiny little bit of money. I can buy a handy cam and a laptop. Uh, and then I, you know, I, I started and I made, I, you know, made a little bit of money and it was just like, I cannot fuck this up. I cannot yeah. like to my future self who like, whether or not I'm like a regional manager to Staples depends on me not fucking this up. Yeah. This is so fucking cool and amazing. That I get to bang hot chicks and make a living from it. Potentially. I absolutely cannot fuck this up. Mm -hmm. So like. And you might say, Alex, that sounds very stressful. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I would say it's very, you were very ambitious thinking you'd be a regional manager at Staples. Well, I, I don't know uh, if you're rising look above at my, a store manager. It was either look this my, or homelessness. Look at my haircut. An eventual death. <laughs> <Look> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it's like, because to me, it's like, you know, and I, 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 but any kind of, any kind of like business, like, you know, come business or anything else, like, you can't take what you got going for granted. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, oh, well, I'm just entitled to this money. And like, I mean, unless you're a landlord, then it's like, that's fine. Like, that's <laughs> no, because this shit will die. That's the thing about this, too. It's like, you got to just keep fucking going with it because once it starts getting momentum, you can't let it die. Yeah. You don't know if the next, if tomorrow's even promised yeah. with it. Well, I mean, I, I just think. And, I, and then to, to me, it's like, no, you be quiet now. You, you talk all the time. You've been talking for the last 45 minutes. Nick, shut the constantly. fuck up. <laughs> I want to be off camera so bad. You, I was literally just having the thought. He just sits there silent and just listens to us, and we just like him there because it's just like emotional support. Yeah, well, I mean, so I'm you just, just sit there and you're just like, yeah, I'm just letting you two cook. I don't, I, you know, I just feel like it, the the OnlyFans porn stuff. It's the same as social media. It's like once you put something on the internet, it's there forever, whether you want it to be or not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like. I don't know, you, you have to kind of, because me and him talk about it a bunch of stuff, like new new stuff we might want to do, or even the thing that, you know, we're all working on and shit. It's like, you have to kind of, and and he did a lot of this, right? And obviously you did it too, where you have to understand what your aesthetic is going to be, what your branding is going to be, mm -hmm. and, and kind of like what you want it, you know, how you want to present yourself. Yeah. Because you see a lot of successful people that are mostly scammers, um, and complete dullards talk about, oh, I manifested all this. I man... That is so mind-numbingly fake because really yeah. what it was is... It's a formula. Th they it's a formula, but it's they believed in themselves. And yeah. that's kind of like the most... It sounds so atrociously cringe. That is manifestation. But it's like ma manifesting is a, is a cringe millennial 2023 word for I believed in myself and I had a vision for something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's true. The last thing in the world I want to hear as a poor pod person is I don't want to hear Logan Paul in a $50 million penthouse being like, bro, I manifested all this shit. Look at this. See? Yeah. Manifest. Yeah, see, like, I, I, I like that, that grinded whole, like, to, it. To me, yeah. to me, all that stuff, it's like there's, you know, I've gotten some benefit from, from some of those cringe people sometimes, but only after I was already successful pretty much. Like, mm -hmm. t to me, the whole believing in yourself, manifesting thing is all just a, I believed in the work. I believed yeah. when I was a fucking fat, weird little 15-year-old that if I lifted weights with my friend, I'd look, something would work. It's like, I, and even with this porn shit, it's like, 
I know if I do this and it's okay, I see some results. Okay. If I keep doing this, yeah. I, I believe in that. You know what I mean? Like I'm a fucking, a, a fat, lazy retard left to my own devices most of the time. But it's like, if I can get, have a little bit of focus and be like, okay, go fuck the hot girl, make it good, make it special. Do it again. Do it, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Make cool shit. Make cool shit. Oh, you did a bad job. That sucked. Do better. Like I believe in that. Yeah. And you know what I mean? As, and I still don't like, I don't just show up to a shoot even today and be like, what a paradise. Yeah. Genius at work today. I'm oh, going to yeah. make a million dollars. I'm like, fuck, how do I make a good video? I can't think of any fucking ideas. Why do I suck? Like, I, can, I still. I, I, I can verify that. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can and it's like, that. I love what I do. It's fucking amazing. But it's also like, I did. It's, you got to love that feeling though. Just yeah. The like only reason I've gotten to, to the point I'm at so something. far is that I'm like, I, I've held myself to standard of like always trying to make good shit and knowing that it's not like a fucking accident. Yeah. You know? But a lot of people. Uh, I mean, I was an. Accident. I really believe <laughs> I in that, out though. Terrible. So. <laughs> like it's so real. I so believe in taking a risk, like that to be rewarded, you have to take a big risk on something that might not work out, but that you're willing to just put the work in for. Well, that's and how- I think if you continue to try and master something little, you take something small and you just do it every single day. Yeah, uh, and then eventually hard work will lead you. Yeah, to and it's valuable. like, and then you start seeing results as you're putting what, the work in, whatever mm-hmm. you're kind of trying to do. And you'll get that more belief in yourself mm-hmm. or, you know what I mean? To where it's like, okay, this is work. But it's like, if you yeah. just, some people just like listening to motivational speakers and stuff. It, and it's just, it's, it's, it's pornography. It's, it's just, it's jerking off. The, it's like success porn. It's yeah, like success porn. And it's like, if you don't take any actual, like real fucking steps, it's not fucking not, complicated. It's meaningless. You're not going to just yeah. like listen to Tony Robbins four hours a day on your, on your commute. And no. like, it's not going to... It's like literally just take a risk, embarrass yourself, be a little bit deranged, and keep doing that every single day, and <laughs> work hard at it, and something will work out. Pull your cock and balls yeah. out in front of strangers at the CBS. You got to be fucking weird. Okay, you got to do something do different. You got to just embrace that. You got to. Otherwise, if you don't do different shit, and you just try and listen to the motivational speakers and try to be a, a nice, Have, respectful member of society, it's not going to fucking work out for you. No get, one's rewarding you Get for that. sodomized by a homeless military veteran. Yeah. You got to take some risks in life. You got to take some fucking risks. Honestly, that's where it all starts happening. Once you start taking risks, getting challenged, you learn more about yourself and you enjoy the suffering that is inherent to humanity. Okay, let's end it. Amen. <laughs> got to want to suffer. Um, do we have any more tips for them? Use yours. Good luck. Basically, you're, you're no, I mean, like, that the, is the best way to do it, though. You shouldn't go get an agent. You shouldn't go do all this stuff unless that's what, what you really want to do. But like, yeah, I mean, well, the thing is, like, as, as for guys, too, because, you know, to the, to the men out there, the ones that are truly suffering, um, not like the women who have life on easy mode and enough out of them. And that's not me, <laughs> by the way. I grind this out. And then I see girls making millions a month just showing their nipples. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I should have been smarter. <laughs> but yeah. it is what it is. It could have been way smarter. Yeah. But I enjoy, I have no regrets. I enjoy the path I took and I don't think I could have done it a different way. Well, I just think like even I'm for I'm happy the, with how all in I went. Even for the chicks that like only show their nipples, it's like that's what they're comfortable doing and that's what they're able to make a living. Oh, I should have fucking done doing that. Doing it, you know? No, but the thing is, that's the thing. is like if you're, if you're in, a, in the right position, that can make shit loads of money. It can make like so much more money than even like than even doing anal porn. Yeah, but it's like it all, you, you have to realize whether or not you're, you yeah. know. You have to know your niche. If you I have couldn't millions have done of, that. If you already have millions of followers on Instagram, like yeah. it's, it's like it, or that'll be Or if you have really perfect titties or if you like to mark, like if you know that your market is being that like innocent, untouched woman that's yeah. like a yeah. virgin but shows her nipples, like that could appeal to a lot of people. That wasn't my niche because that's just not me, but. That appeals to me. I'm subscribed. But, yeah. And I'm know, like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have marketed myself as such a dirty whore. See the guy, the, the people, the the, the non just Stella fans. It's probably still mostly just gonna be like Stella fans, but like the, yeah. some of the guys that come here for like the porn advice are gonna be so mad. They're gonna be like, they rambled for fucking the entire thing, barely said anything. Alex Adams said that he works super hard. And but that's like, the reality. <laughs> that's the actual advice. People want advice where it's like, all right, first you do this, and then you go get an agent, and then you go film with this company and that company. That's not gonna bring you success. Well, no, people. People just want you to tell them exactly what to do. Yeah, and unfortunately, we can't do that because then they we'll just be that's why, making a legion of unhappy people going yeah, into the industry that aren't meant to actually That's be why here. selling online courses is like a $7 billion industry is because people don't want... Look, wanna, we just give this shit for free. People don't want to have to think for themselves. They want to just be told, hey, do do one, two, three, and four, mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and you'll be successful. And that's not how it works because it's like if anyone is selling a course on something, they're not as good as what they're selling the course on. They know how to make a good course. Yeah. They know how to market a good course. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like all these like. But e- the reality is, you can't fucking follow a course to be successful at something. If you're gonna make something new, you have or to like want cause it. you got to do cause research. disruption in something. You can't follow something that's already been done. You can. I think you can use the course as like a resource, to like yeah, figure it out a little bit more. But it's like no one is gonna give you the fucking blueprint on how to make money. No, or it's how not to like oh, just buy this course, you'll be a billionaire. Yeah, it's like that's not. And I'm t- I'm calling out all everyone who makes a course, bro. I don't think you guys make anywhere near as much money. They should just make a course on how to make a course. They do. Oh, I'm sure they, they, they do. Make a course on there, how to make a course. There's a course for everything. But anyway, I just want to quickly say, because I've been very upset about this for the past week, because you've ruined my fucking Instagram feed. Any Anyone who's making a course on something, you are not making nearly as much money on that thing as you are on the fucking course. I'm, yeah. I'm, you're all frauds. I cannot stand any They're of you. Frauds. I know I said it earlier in the podcast. I'm saying it again. I'm a bug person. I don't care. I want all you gone. Sounds like someone who has a limiting mindset. I'm coming I'm coming <laughs> for all sounds you. Sounds like he, you're jealous of their course Sounds money. like somebody doesn't want an Aventador SVJ. It sounds like <laughs> someone who's going to have a fucking wide body He's like, I should have fucking made a course 10 years ago. Yeah, I should have made a course on how to make courses. <laughs> You should have. But it's like, you know, you just have to, you, you got to have initiative in life. And if you don't have that, you're not going to be successful. I'm going to make a course on how to do anal. We can make a lot of money. I'm going to make a you course a on how to squirt. I heard you just do this when you're fingering them. You want to try? <laughs> and it's just, just like, yeah. Just like that's that. what but I heard see, That's school. the thing is like, as a, as a guy trying to get into this kind of thing, it's, it is a, v- ext- you have to. I'm gonna to try to lay out and and the the timestamp marker people. I'm sure hopefully we'll we'll point this one out. One minute, one uh, one uh, one hour, one minute, twenty one seconds. Go. Yeah. As a guy trying to do this, do sex things and make a little bit of money, you you have to really the first kind of place to understand is understand that this is a such a fucking difficult path you're choosing. Yeah. And, and even. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a really huge cock. If you have a really huge cock and you're a certain type of person, it might not be that very hard, to be honest. I still, I still think. But it's even hard. still, it's like it's it, it still can be pretty tricky. But like still, society, everything. Disowns but if you, you you know, if you're if you're a guy, you know, if, if you're kind of a younger dude, if you're between you know like eighteen to thirty five, even, you know, and I'll lay out the kind of fun. Like you should be in pretty decent shape. Yep. Being pretty, you don't have to be kind of like ripped, complete giga chad. That is good. Like you. No, 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 no. I'm a, a, a flabby manlet person. <laughs> I'm not flabby. Man. I'm a flabby manlet <laughs> with a nice haircut <laughs> and a, I, uh, and a and a strong survival instinct. <laughs> strong will to survive. <laughs> He's a cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> You know, because some people see this and be like, oh, Alex, you're a Chad. All this was, yeah. you, you see me 100 pounds heavier and tell me I'm a Chad. Like, I was He's not like, a fucking the inner Chad. The fat kid in him yeah. is talking It never right goes now. away. No. He, never and goes just away. even three and a half, four years ago, look at me and tell me I'm a fucking Chad. A fucking a roly poly. My dick was barely even working. I was still filming scenes. Like, so it's like, you know, a lot of that stuff, you guys, like, you know, you fat internet people, guys, like, yeah. You know, improve yourself in a few ways before you completely give up on yourself about how you're completely hopeless because you're not a fucking giga chat with a certain kind of jaw dimension or whatever. My cantle yeah. tilt is completely <laughs> Honestly, fucked. your mental your mental strength is much more important than your physical yeah. pre- and that's presentation. that's 100% true. But, but just, okay, but wait. Yeah, but, but so but that is, what? What were you going to say? You go first. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, as a guy, like, you, you know, you got to be in decent shape. You know, you don't have to have a huge, a huge cock, but you know, if you're that, you can do what I did. What I did, I did a little, I did a little life hack with this thing. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, cause if you're, you know, if you're a younger man, I was 25, freshly kicked out of the Marine Corps for being an insane, insanely heinous, uh, schizophrenic drunk person. Um, a patriot. Yeah. A patriot, uh, Real God fearing, good American. I was like, I was in pretty good shape. I had a pretty decent sized cock. So I was like, I'm going to do gay shit. I'm going to fuck dudes and stuff. Because that's the ticket. That's how you do it. Mm-hmm. You want to make the real money. The big bucks. You know, news flashes though. Big reveal su- surprise is gay porn. There's not a ton of money in it, unfortunately. Almost none. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But I figured, and I figured the two you just needed to do gay porn first if you were gonna fuck the hot ladies anyway. And as like a weird bisexual creature that I am, like I was, I you know I liked fucking chicks a lot, and I was like fucking sucking off old men at adult bookstores for you know for fun, and and I was like, well, I'll just do gay stuff. That's where the money is. And um, as if you're in good shape and you got a good sized dick, it's much, 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 much easier to get into gay porn. Because in gay porn, it's like if you're a good looking guy with a nice dick. It's like being a hot chick in regular porn. So do you recommend that route? I I for don't I don't hotties. It can be fine. I mean, it's like I it's like I I guess I can't sit here and say don't do it. Uh, because I did it and it worked out. <laughs> but but it's, do you think it's, that it's, it's, it's necessary? If to you go gay but the first? thing is the thing is even if you're like kind of bi or you kind of done some like because even like to be a successful like just straight performer, it's almost. You know, kind of like maybe you've done some stuff with guys here and there. Like, cause like, you need to be the the, the sexual kind of like uh, persuasion of like just being up for a lot of different stuff, mm-hmm. even if you mostly like chicks. So it's like, cause then if you're fucking dudes and you say you're bi, but like mostly straight, you fuck guys for a little bit, then you start doing straight porn. It's like, oh, this is fucking easy. Well, but see, that's, <laughs> but see, that's the, the real issue lies there is like once you start doing gay porn, it becomes insanely more difficult to do a lot of straight porn. So maybe they shouldn't pigeonhole themselves. Yeah. Into so gay it's porn. like even if you're kind of bi, but you're more into chicks, I would. My advice is to not do any gay stuff because it just makes it a lot more difficult. Um, because it's just it, mainstream studios don't want to book guys that are actively fucking guys with with chicks. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only re- way I overcame that is because I worked for this weird fetish company, you know, for like a year, and they need, desperately need guys that could fuck chicks, get fucked in the butt with a strap on, uh, get spit on in a dog cage, wear a dress suck off some guy, get sucked off by an old man. Like I could do it all. They need a jack of all trades. Cause I'm a yeah. real American Patriot. Yeah. <laughs> but they, so, but then I met chicks through that. They were like, liked me. And, and that really kind of allowed me to be like, well, when I started making my own videos and I was like, well, I want to make some like stuff with just the, the ladies. Okay. I had an in, but I, I didn't start being able to like book girls through like an agent or two or like a few agencies until like maybe a year, two years into it. Um, because like normally, you know, there's a decent amount of guys that they did some gay porn early on, not knowing any better, like just, you know, um, some gay man in Fort Lauderdale told them that, no, like you have to suck dick or you're not going to, not going to make it in the biz. And then they do that a few times and realize like, oh, that's not true. And so they just stop doing that. And then a few months later they come back under a new stage name and then they're shooting for team Skeet or whatever. But I did a lot of gay porn. So much, <laughs> yeah. hundreds of videos. Yeah, and it's like I didn't ever want to like great. hide, watch them. hide like what I did or or what I'm into or anything. Um, but so it's like doing gay porn unless you're like really just 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 know that it's going to be more difficult. It's gotten a lot easier, a lot more girls, and then with the rise of like OnlyFans and like so many different content creator chicks and stuff. Like, if you're making your own content or whatever, it's fine. But I just. You know, just going to like L.A. or South Florida to do gay porn, that's the, the, the path to fucking hot chicks like Alex Adams does is very dark. and it, It's like a, a Dark Souls game. It's very, the chances yeah. are low. Don't follow his life story, basically. Learn from us. It, but if you do, oh, we'll give you some character. Oh, we'll make you strong. <laughs> you will, you will go. Be dope as fuck, a life story. You will go to the darkest places, man. Yeah, you see. It's, it's like, I mean, if, if you want to, you know, go into Mordor and back, then yeah. But like, the easier way is, the, the, the problem is though, is like, it, as a guy trying to get hired, because that's the thing too, is like guys, guys, a lot of guys don't have much money or whatever to just be like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to like find some agencies on Twitter. I'm going to try to make a website. I'm going to try to create some kind of social present so I look like kind of legit and try to book some scenes with chicks. Yeah, they can get some girls through Twitter, not through agencies. Yeah, well, they, but they don't have, you know, they don't have any money or resources to do that, so they're just like, I want to work for fucking Bangros or whatever. Yeah. The, the problem, and just be and just they, Yeah, they porn. might not want to be an Alex Adams. They might want to be a Johnny Sins. Well, the, th- the thing is, yeah, the thing is, too, is like working for other companies... Sucks ass. Yeah, but it, it you learn a lot of basics about the industry. Valid. You learn a lot about stuff like, wow, this is, seems stupid. This seems like, I bet there's a better way to do this, but you learn yeah. a lot of the basics of like testing and, 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 and what's kind of normal, mm-hmm. what's kind of, what's kind of normal, uh, procedure and stuff. And like, what's, what's viewed as like, kind of like a little bit strange behavior and like, okay, mm-hmm. you, you work How for this company this and like, okay, this company was better than this company. And then like, you just, 
Because, see, I've met a lot of guys in mainstream. Like, even the guy I shot with um, for Tushy. Yeah. I... He he started, he's French. He started making porn in France. Like he's like in his 30s when he decided to just like quit his job and do that. Moved to the US soon after. He's only been in LA six months. He has an agent. He just shoots with a lot of mainstream companies. He's in shape. He has a big dick. He loves his life. Yeah. He doesn't make nearly as much money as you, but he loves his life. He loves shooting long days. He He likes it. So a lot of guys could go that route and have just a good, nice job. Oh, yeah. And that's, Girls, I, mean, and that's I feel thing. like it might be harder. Yeah. I mean... It, if you get to where, you know, you can be consistently hired by as male talent for mainstream companies, I mean, like, it's it's pretty awesome. Though It's only not awesome to me because I know of such a better way. Yeah. You know so what I mean? you either take your route, but if they don't want to be rich and, but and, and an entrepreneur, that's the thing. It's they like can the, just be hired. The amount talk. of mental stress and, like, it, it's not something that everybody's willing to undertake. Yeah. And also, you could start out just being a hired cock and yeah. then become an Alex Adams later on when you yeah. figure out what your niche is. And to, and to for me, that's girls, one of I feel like that's a harder things. way to do. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. For yeah. girls, it's hard because you might get burnt out yeah. and not like this anymore. Uh, or you might, all these mainstream companies are going to put all your content out there and then you're not going to have shit. You don't get to sell that yourself. Well, I think. Because girls can make so much more money. That's the thing about like guys. It's yeah, like you're yeah. making good money doing mainstream. Yeah. Girls, it's like you're kind of giving away so much what? earning potential when you work for mainstream yeah. and not sell all that shit on your OnlyFans. I think like with the, with because the, we, you know, we shoot with like a lot of newer chicks and we shoot with like, we shoot with everyone, you know, newer chicks, experienced mm -hmm. you, chicks. You shoot through eight, you get like the, the they probably know this, but you get like girls through agencies, but yeah. you also get girls through only fans hitting and you collabs. up on Instagram yeah. or Twitter. I think like for the newer girls, I like the, the best route I, I think at least seems to be like you start your OnlyFans, you get on like, you know, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, you promote it, mm -hmm. you grow it to where you're maybe making like, you know, five or ten, fifteen K a month. And then if you really want like that big boost you do like one mainstream studio mm -hmm. shoot just because it you DM or you start collaborating Alex with Adams other Adams media girls. Yeah. Girls. yeah. You or maybe you, post a few teasers on Pornhub. Yeah. Like you start or you expanding. DM. If you're really smart, you just DM him yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> once it, you, once you've already made some porn with your boyfriend or something, you know how to put a penis in your yeah, hole yeah. On, on camera. Yeah. DM him. The only way that I could see it ever being worth doing a mainstream shoot is one, you're too lazy to do your only fan, your own only fans, mm -hmm. or you want to be like the prototypical porn chick yeah. where you go to this, the set and there's 80 people there and it takes seven hours yeah. to film 30 minutes. Because even my two mainstream scenes I did, they're not going to get anything near views or promotion for me that like any TikTok or anything would like, no. I haven't even noticed a boost in anything. Yeah, like no. They don't, but it's more for the experience and the branding that I did yeah, it. And some people so like, like if that. they they could girls could if they were like making only fifteen k a month or something and they wanted like a boost from it. Yeah, you're gonna have to do something like Brazzers, you know, that gets a lot of views or Alex Adams. Yeah, I mean, this you'll, Honestly, get, you'll, get, you'll get much more views than filming with Brass. Literally. Yeah. With me. No, he's like the only 100%. one, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get like 100x. But other than that, like if they're going to do a mainstream shoot, it's like they're going to have to. That's the only and I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for, I mean, message me if you want. And it, 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 I'm sure we'll make something good. But oh, I, I got to send a I DM don't, real quick. Give me yeah. a moment. He's not asking I, uh, for the whole world. I anymore. don't, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm not uh, hurting for talent. I am not. <laughs> but no, I think that that's kind of the. If you do anal though. Yes, actually, but if you do butt <laughs> stuff, please, please, God, message me. We started this anal site, and it's all Stella Berry, pretty much, which is great. But there's, I need girls yeah, that want to do butts. Please, please message me if you do butt stuff, and please, you're hot. Please, we, please, God, we're gonna, we're gonna put a, <laughs> even if you're not hot, just message him. We're gonna, we'll, we'll be the judges. We're gonna and, put and a you form have a, and you have a vagina. Yeah. You know, I'd like to. You're if you, not a man. If, if you had a penis, I'd like to do it, but I just can't. I just, I, it's just, I, I, it's, I, I just. We're I, saving that for later. I'm only allowed to do it with girls for now. I just because I'm trying to like make money and stuff. We're and gonna like, put a, we're gonna put a Google <laughs> form in the description. You guys can fill it out. Mm -hmm. 18 plus only, please. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know. I just think like you got to figure out your brand. You got to figure out what you want to do. And there's so many tools now for like, especially chicks to promote themselves. I mean, you'll see chicks like get on Twitter and like two months later, they got like 50,000 followers. Exactly. You know, or Instagram, same thing. Exactly. You know, guys, it's a lot harder. Well, it's, <gasps> it's, 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 it's more difficult. Yeah. With, with chicks too, too, with the OnlyFans though, I mean, it's, it's just like the, the quick money, you know, gets, gets, gets a lot of girls stock of like just showing up to a shoot and getting a thousand bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's true. You know, where it's like to, to grow an OnlyFans to, to, you know, to be making 10, 15 K a month. 
really a lot of chicks can do that, but it's a like lot. you, you have, you to, have like, to do the work before you yeah, get paid. Like yeah, you might make a hundred like TikTks. Thing. It's not something where you can, you, make money. you can make a couple of posts on Instagram and then like, it's going to be happening in like a, a month. It's yeah. going to take. It's Quick take money is the death of fucking progress yeah. because girls will be like, well, I, I just, I'm going to just start camming so that they can make, you know, 500 or a thousand a day or whatever. And and it's like, yeah, okay, you're making a thousand a day, but you're not putting time into anything else where you could be making TikToks or whatever. So that at some point you're making seven K a day. Yeah. Not having to be on live stream. Like the quick money is the death of it. When I see, see girls starting to be like, maybe I should just like do camming because at least then I'll just get money like today. Yeah. Well, because that that like the OnlyFans thing really Limits. requires like a vision. Is you gotta have mm -hmm. like an idea of what you want it to be yeah. and like curate it the right way. You know, like all the most successful only and mine were my, like the way I curated it was horrible. Like yeah. it was gross at first, and like I've said a lot of and done a lot of disgusting shit on the internet. It's not like it has to be perfect always. Like no, I started you out, out just being like, "Well, I'm going to be as demented as possible to well, get as much attention as possible, so I can get as much money and views as possible." That's and what made it perfect. Find some perverts <laughs> that like spending money on this. So it's like it doesn't have to be some perfect vision first, but it, you do have to have some kind of fucking guiding force of like. This is the formula. Yeah, and then you tweak it over time. Like, we, like ideally with this podcast, we should have continually tweaked it and made it better. We we're did just, none of that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it. Shady. Well, no, we just figured out how to make it way better, which is just have you come be life be, hack. Life hack. Have Stella be on every single episode that we do now. You guys couldn't do it on your own, so you had to bring the pussy in. That's yep. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're pathetic. I mean, it still sucks. Like, it's not like we're doing anything groundbreaking with this, but I enjoy. Doing it. I don't know. I don't know if there's really anything like this on the internet, and maybe it's for a good reason. But I don't know if there's. I agree. Any, I don't think you're gonna find any other thing, any other like podcast that talks Where about. You just like put feet in the face. Of yeah. Them. Lick them. Yeah, yeah. You what, dude, you made it an hour and sixteen mm. minutes without licking her feet. Oh my god, bro, this floor. My dad, my dad, like mm. I talked to him the other day, and he was he was telling me about the. I saw you licking that girl's feet. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. You're good. <laughs> you know, I, I found out you were half gay. I was disappointed, but I kind of like your foot licker. The, the comments, yeah, I remember, the I remember like before I was ever... to massage my feet the next See, one. that's... Mm, I, don't know, I, I only enjoy good. feet for my sexual pleasure. I'm not doing it for the girl. Right? He <laughs> is not very altruistic. He no. never does anything for me. He never makes me come. He always just makes himself come, and then he goes, get dressed, pig. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's not my... Listen, you can't... In life, ultimately, you can only control your own experience and what you're doing and your own actions. He's like, just be fucking Whether selfish. or not someone else comes or feels <laughs> good, I have no control over that. No, oh, he doesn't care about you. He I know I'm finna bust. He doesn't care about anyone else. <laughs> I know I'll, I'm finna get that nut. I'm finna for real. Yeah. It's finna be everywhere. Exactly. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. He just won't another, massage my feet. Just another selfish, misogynistic piece of <laughs> shit. But no, I don't think there's anything else like this on the internet. I don't know if you're ever going to really have two successful porn people <laughs> sit down. While See, I, got like, I got like something in my eye. Yeah, because you're licking her <laughs> feet, bro. <laughs> you're putting your feet against something in my fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. What are we going to do after this? In in Go golfing? Go golf. I'm going to get them into golfing. Yeah, Miss Miss Stella's a golf sale now. I See, am Stella's, a fucking good ass golfer. Stella's on the on the path to real wealth. I so can pound part of that, the you gotta fucking learn to golf, golf ball. Yeah, down the fairway. There's gonna eventually be an. There's eventually <laughs> to gonna. The green. There's eventually gonna be an episode where it's just. Well, Corinna, Corinna taught you how to golf, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a golf sale. Yeah, yeah. I respect that. She flew yeah. back to LA just to golf. She's a well, because I golfed a little bit as a kid, woman, so she likes to golf. That's and then I cool. I'm just like generally been an athlete in my life. But I hadn't golfed in so long, and then I just started golfing with her. And AC, he like her roommate basically, her bestie. He uh, taught me mostly. He he trains me every time we go golfing. He's like, all right, hit it like this, whatever. I've had some good ass plays. Is he good? I at, almost made par. Is he good at golf? Par three, and then I was really bad at putting, and I didn't do it. I don't even know what that means. It sounds like the dark arts. Um, 
Well, I like mini golf, and I, I like the. We're idea. gonna start with top golf and mini golf. Yeah, I, I like the idea of top golf. I don't know if I'll actually like the experience. No, the you, idea yeah, is very honestly, appealing. I got bored with top golf, but I didn't mind it because I'm really trying to get better at my drives. So yeah, well, because I just I, th- I feel like top golf is where you just go with your friends, and you just drink and eat overpriced food. Yeah, and you hit. But it we didn't do any day. of that. We just I just went there to practice. I just went there like, it's just, I drilling. just used it like a driving. Range. You're like Kobe in the gym. Just yeah, I literally shots. hit like forty balls. I hit everybody else's balls too because I just wanted to get better at it and then same when i'm doing a mini golf we went to a little putt putt place that's like indoors in miami and i was just like all right how the fuck do i get better at putting because i Mm. want to be good at it once you're out there actually golfing it's so frustrating to fuck up yeah our buddy our buddy actually he trains with like a callaway pga pro on weston if you you ever want to go oh my god so someone could take us golfing that's actually good at it yeah (gasps) yeah i was talking about it yesterday Really? Yeah. I would literally use that all the time. I would I would do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 text him. I'll text we're gonna, him. Right I'm going to get you two into golfing just by force and then I'm going to film YouTube videos of you guys fucking up, making fools of yourself. Us beating each other to death with He's golf He's just going to sit and we talked about this. We're just going to golf courses, country clubs have great food. So we're going <laughs> to get you some food. We're going to sit you in the golf co- cart and you're just going to snack and watch us and go get our balls for us. I would I think golfing would be a f- amazing fun thing to do when you're shit face drunk outside of being shit face drunk it's hard for me to understand <laughs> like hard to understand the appeal look at your eyeball just tweaking out yeah it's got something in there. do you want some <laughs> eye drops I'll, I'll i'll be all right you got cum in it yeah you got your own jizz from her feet in her in your yeah. eye that's uh that's good yeah i mean i like i, I I don't want to like golf, but I feel like I, if I have to for my career, I will. It's you guys fun. are going to like it. I swear. It's not nearly as bad as you think. It's so fun. I, th- I think it'll be. It's so fun. And I, think, awesome. I think we'll have a, we'll have a good time. But uh, do, do we have any more opinion tips that we're an hour? Yeah, I, f- I feel bad. I mean, I feel like we attempted a little bit better, but the people are going to be very upset. Yeah, because, dude, the thing because is, man. we can't do it for them. Yeah, you can't. You, you can give them the, because the thing I can is, give them tips on how to do anal. Th- this whole industry is about fucking another person, and you can do that in your personal life. Yeah. Literally, go find a consenting adult. <laughs> okay. What a, does that mean? Find a consenting adult. Okay, gra- <laughs> grab one of these bad boys. Nice little iPhone, consenting adult, and then have sex with them and record and try not to drop the phone as you're fucking doing. Yeah, and then see how it is. Congratulations, you now know how to make pornography. Yeah. You're welcome. That's so true. That's literally it. So this is why I keep this guy around. Thank so you. That's why, it's why I have an orange raptor. Soon to be a green wide like, body scat pack. And like that's like just a start because uh, honestly, how can I give people advice when every day I'm like, how the fuck am I going to keep this career going? Like what the fuck do I do next? I don't know. There's no there's no playbook to this. There's no there's no thing I can follow. I don't know what to do to constantly make groundbreaking things that get attention that make me money. There's no fucking playbook. So maybe I should write one. I think you just fuck as you go. You fuck as you go, you know? And maybe someday I'll end up broke, homeless, rambling on the street. Um, and that's just my journey, you know? Hopefully near a golf course. And I'm fine with my journey, wherever it takes me. It can take me to wealth. It could take me to ruin. I don't care. Wow, that was so insightful. Honestly, I swear to God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. As long as Alex Adams keeps fucking me, I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I think a lot. I think I think you're not the only one that feels that way. Yeah. He's got to keep fucking for me to be okay because he fucking Yeah, like the, the, the so. dick feels good enough. Nothing else really matters, honestly. Yeah, because, I mean, sometimes me, I'll, I'll have a few shoots in a row and I'll be kind of getting stressed out and... But then I'll have like three days off, and I'll be like, "Oh Jesus Christ, I'm horny! Give me, give me back on set." Exactly. Let me, <laughs> let, me let me give you guys a I'm quick. Like, God, I can't wait to fucking. I'm gonna give you guys a quick story uh, about what you really need to be to be in this business. Is uh, about like seven months ago, on New Year's Eve, we were going to the BMW dealer to test drive a car for me, and so you know I pick him up or whatever. We get in the car, we drive all the way down to Miami, which is like an hour and a half away. Fucking nightmare. It's it's awful. Borderline third world country. And um, I love Miami. And we go down there and we're in the parking lot about to get, you know, we pull up, we're about to get out. And he looks, and like we're sitting there talking and he looks over and he's like, oh man, I'm getting a fucking boner. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I bro, I don't know. I haven't had sex in like th- three days, two days. It's just popping up everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, did you take like a a fucking Viagra or something? He's like, no. He's like, I took nothing. 
I'm like, I'm just, I'm just bricked up in the BMW so dealer. Hot. And that is immediately for me is a seminal moment in my life where that is what you need to be. You need to be able to go to a car dealer, a place where literally is made to flassify your penis. <laughs> Bye. And you're able to get your your dick hard for no reason. Well, you were you were about to get fucked, I, and, and when somebody's yeah. getting fucked, I get horny. Like, mm. <laughs> no, he needs to constantly be sedated through his penis. Yeah, constantly. Yeah, like when when we have he to needs can- those daily three nuts, yeah. whatever he needs. Yeah, like we had to cancel. I yesterday. can go two a, a day or two without jerking off. Yeah, and then I'm not an your animal. penis just starts rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, if I if I don't like, like have sex or jerk off for like two days, I'm fucking. Hor- I'll like just be, be I'll, like wake up and I'm like, man, I'm fucking bricked. I'm fucking, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to fuck. Like we had to cancel yesterday's shoot, and thank God that you you're, you know you're back in town now. Otherwise, he would have called me tomorrow and been like, yeah, I'm bricked up. What do we do? What do I gotta do? <laughs> People in the comments are gonna be like, he is really sick. He needs severe help. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. See, that's a real man. <laughs> that's a real man getting hard that's in the BMW parking. See, I mean, I'm a still an adult, so it's like you know, I, I you know, I go to a shoot and the chick has a bad attitude and doesn't want to listen to anything I say about how we're, about the amazing art piece I'm trying to film. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, okay, let's not film, yeah. and I will go home and I will watch some Bukaki compilation on X videos. Yeah. Like I don't need to very fuck happily. You. I don't need to you know. <laughs> It'd be good cool to have guy? sex and, and, and makes a cool video, but I'm good I, either way. I can do the job myself. Yeah. <laughs> the job myself. Very good. I'll, I might add. Honestly, sometimes better than some women. And that's fair. Did your jewel die? It's on the slab. I got a few. I got a few others. <laughs> I was going to say, how, how have you been lasting got, on here three. without your massive jewel puffs? I love, I love how we get here. Immediately, he's like, hey, See, you it's, it's in the red right now. So that's that's bad. That's the danger zone. When it's green, it's good, good to go. He's Yellow, to it's starting anxiety. to get. I, and then red is like you got twenty percent left. I like how you're near the end. I like how we show up to your place in, in like two minutes, and he's like, "Hey, you got one of those little uh, charging cubes, little charging bricks with the yeah. USB?" <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately needs to charge. He charges. yelled at me. He yelled at me a few weeks ago because I didn't have one on me because he needed to charge. <laughs> I'm like, the, why don't you have one on you? I know. This I, is your life. I was when he. I said, bought. I bought four of these at the gas station this morning because this morning I woke up. Because normally I have like two jewels around. That's my walking around like everyday. At least carry. two. Yeah, everyday carries the two jewel jewels. And I woke up this morning. George, my cat, one of my cats, knocked off the the jewel <laughs> under the bed George. or something. So then I only had like one, and I was like, "I all this. I'm going to the gas station. I'm buying like five, six jewel like <laughs> devices. I can't." So I bought a bunch, <laughs> but then I was like, "I was at the gym, so I didn't have time to charge." Because you know, you buy a new one, it should come fully charged, but they don't. His life is really complicated. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. George is like, "Fuck your vape." <laughs> Yeah, because George will just be like, yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him do it. Yeah. Too. It's great. He's... Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I love George. I but ultimately, I'll, I'll I'll try to I'll try to give like one more kind of like wrapping up succinct. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Rambling nonsense, non advice for guys doing this. Please do. If you're ready to really try this, you've got to be able to fucking like pack everything up and fucking like. Move to LA, move to South Florida. Be where the move to are. Vegas. Yeah, be be where there's agencies. You know, like be be available at any time to go do a shoot, to go do a foot job you found off Craigslist. To go like, mm-hmm. do you have to like really be like I'm trying to do this now? Mm-hmm. You know, you're not going to just sit and fucking, um, you know what I mean, and and uh, in Indiana or fucking North Dakota or whatever, and just like happen to like. I'll find some nice girl and do porn with like, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I mean, like you can email different companies that, cause that's the thing is like, there's a lot of different companies that are looking for new male talent, a decent amount, mm-hmm. but it, it's like, it's not nearly as much as, you know, so it's like, you can find different agencies to email. And that's the thing is like, if you can't go on Twitter, look at some of the accounts I'm following, look mm-hmm. at some people, some of the accounts, other porn girls are, are following like you'll see different stuff about agencies and different websites and like if you'll you can't take out. the time to like okay let me uh can i send some pictures can i find an email address can i like mm-hmm. if you can't do those things you're fucked. then don't expect to like dm me on instagram and say like like all the dms i get all the time where it's just like bro put me on it's like dude you're fucked you're yeah, not gonna yeah, do yeah. anything no one's i could i on. could i could break down fucking five things for you to do right now and you would not do any of them no. you got to enjoy the grind 
for real. You got to be proud to fucking grind it out yeah. from the bottom and just do the fucking work of emailing and yeah. putting yourself out there and, and then, going and to then it's sh- like, shitty shoots. As a guy, whatever. man, like you want to be successful with this? Like once you do get your first shoot, you be able to get your dick hard, man. Yeah, be able to get your dick, up. whatever it takes. You got to shoot something in it. You got to fucking eat something. You got to snort something. You got to stick something in your ass. You got to think about Smurfs. You, you got to think about like, yeah, you got to think about Smurf feet. What to, you're jerking off in the corner to get hard, man. You got to, you got to do it. You got to, you got to, because it's very simple being successful male talent, but it's some, the things, very few guys could consistently do it. Yeah. You got to tap in. Yeah. Like you got to be able to like get a boner in front of like four or five overweight, heavily tatted Mexican men and, and Hialeah in a warehouse, you know, like, can you do that? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll I'm, getting, see. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little worked up. Honestly, like, even when I went to my mainstream shoot, I was like, can I fucking handle this? I don't know if this dick is going to fit in my ass. I don't know if I can like prepare for this correctly. I don't know if I can keep fucking in all these different positions with all these people watching, but I just tapped in to like, you know what you got, you got to do what you got to do. Ended up being great. Yeah. And it's like, you, I didn't know you, I could do it though. You need to be able to, you know, get hard and you need to be able to come when they want you to come. You need to not come that too honestly fast. honestly seems so and then, hard. And then you need to be able to like not, you know, bust immediately. And then there's, but there's guys that, there's guys that have the opposite problem. They can't come. They got to fucking, and it's like, if you're one of those guys, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know yeah, what to like tell it's you. It's hard for you to come already in person. Like, I'm, it's be I'm like, I'm, I'm a guy who's wired where it's like, I can, I can, uh, you know, I can be soft, get bricked up and jizz in like a minute and a half. It's if so I need crazy to. how fast you can not. I don't know what to tell you about that. I can just do that. Or I, or I can fuck for 30 minutes. You they know call them I mean? the rocket. He I, had a huge cum shot today. Yeah, because I was like edging over and over, you know. Oh, over. it was so hot. <laughs> it was really, really, it was really, really hot. hot. It was really hot. <laughs> it was big. Yeah. It was huge. It was on my leg. It was on my thigh. Yeah. And he like licked it off of my hand. Because like I tried to do like a cream pie and then like just, I just I did a little bit and then the rest of it just shot out all over mm-hmm. my hand and shit. It was just like, really oh, hot. Oh, oh. You people are fucking disgusting. Yeah. We had some good sex today. Yeah. A lot of off camera sex too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it took for it took long. I was like, <laughs> Well, the whole first time we were fucking wasn't on camera. He, he we were just he was just like trying not to nut. You're like, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Fuck again, because he's just horny. It was just quality daddy daughter time. Honestly, I will say this: <laughs> what you did today, and this is how I know you know you're a genius, and you're always learning and always switching it up. Because I think we should do this all the time. You fucked me in the ass a little bit beforehand. It's a little shitty. By the time we actually fuck on camera, it's perfectly clean. That's a genius anal move. Fuck them first a little, get get it out, you know, and then <laughs> on camera it's perfectly clean. Genius. Like yeah. he's learning. He's an innovator. He's learning. Anal therapy is growing. Yeah. You never stop learning, never stop growing. You know? We're always I was like, new that patients. was so smart. Well, you we know, should do that every time. He knows the and tricks of the And then it did hurt that bad. Like when he because usually when he sticks his dick in me, like the first time in a while, because he's the biggest dick that I fuck in the ass, it's like <gasps> it hurts. So by the time we were doing it on camera, it was easy. I got the pain out of the way off camera. Tips Which and actually tricks. Is probably don't not also thing. don't rape anyone. Yeah, don't do That's that. That's a great. <laughs> just don't. just be consensual. That's yeah, the please. easiest way to to make good get, money. Otherwise, it, it's going to be a short lived career. Be consensual. Get your paperwork done. Get, yeah, you do not want to get roasted on Twitter. Get your ID. Get your IDs. Stay out of all the drama. Don't yeah. talk to anybody. And that's the outside like, if you're a guy work. and you and you and you you start filming for some companies, you start making some of your own content, you start making it work. Be fucking grateful, man, that you're not fucking working at the Tesco, dude. Like, j- j- be fucking super grateful you get to fuck some hot chicks and make a little bit of money and and don't think you're fucking God's gift to fucking anybody. Yeah. Stay fucking humble like I am always always in my, in my blue Rolls Royce. I <laughs> am very humble. My gorgeously specked. Yes. Beautiful blue Rolls Royce. White I and orange accent. and see all you disgusting peasants in yeah, your like, stupid Toyotas. You... Like, understand, like, you got a good thing going that very few guys will ever get the chance to fucking do. Mm -hmm. So don't be fucking raping people. Don't fucking be weird. You won't get away with it. Don't, like, yeah, eventually it's uh, going to catch up to you unless it doesn't, which it doesn't for some guys. But a lot of guys, though, eventually it does. Yeah, it does. Like, just be a fucking, just be chill. Mm -hmm. Just try to do a good job. Fuck, enjoy it. Get paid, make some money, and then, like... That's it. You don't have to fucking, you don't have to be a nightmare. You don't have to be weird and psychologically manipulative to women. And f- it's like, there's some guys like out there where it's just like, 
I don't know. They deserve their suffering and their pain. Literally, this <laughs> podcast is not just like how to do like porn it, or how to get into porn. It's literally how to be a cool person that we think is awesome. Uh, be perverted. Don't Lick rape feet. people. Be a good person. Be humble. Like be smart. Be perceptive. Like feet. Like feet. <laughs> Yeah. Like, this is just how to be this a person is, that we would hang this out is with. This an hour and a half set on fucking fire because no one is going to follow any. No one is going to actually do it. Can someone please do it? Yeah. I so, can't only fuck him. I need count. some other men out there Works for me. That, that know Ooh. how to do it. No, no, you don't. Works for us. We've got the market corner right now. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Honestly, I, I, love, just, I love my life. People, you know. I don't want to fuck we, all you bozos. We live in... <laughs> Okay. You bimbos. Bozos is such a good word. <laughs> but Men I, are bozos. Yeah. We live in the experience world where you would rather watch someone do something than actually go out and do it yourself. Yeah. And that's why YouTubers and influencers exist because it's like, I'm never going to go. I'm never going to go hiking into Swiss Alps, but I want to watch this guy do but it. But honestly, I, I really wonder, like, because there is going to be the next Alex Adams going to die someday. Stella Berry is no, going to die I'm someday. I'm merging with machines. <laughs> and there's going to be the next generation. I will be on Elysium. Like, who's coming next? Like, I want to know who the next big fucking, like, big porn girl is going to be. I want to know who the next, like, number one male porn star that uh, that makes their own shit and, like, disrupts somehow is going to be. Who's going to be making porn? Whose porn are they going to be watching in 40 years? Whoever that's going to be, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> that's going to be your in fucking utero. underling. That's going to be the next one after you. That's going to be the Alex Adams number two. I don't the know. next chosen one. Hopefully I'll own who's a hedge gonna fund be? What then. are they going to be no, making? I'm not going to be worried about it. going to be shit. you guys. Actually, that's probably going to be your guys' children. I will have a singer 911. Uh, Just can't stop thinking about cars. Uh, <laughs> I'll have a wide body scat pack. Stella He's will like, be, I'm never going to die. I'm just going to keep buying cars. Stella I'll, be, cars. I'll be half robot, android person driving my singer 911. It's going to have to be some, uh, and like not being able to like, be out there and not being the able to like fucking uh, manually like auto, like, uh, like manually like rev match when I downshift <laughs> and that fucking car is like <laughs> my $1.5 million singer 911. He's just speaking gibberish to me now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is gibberish. It's, it's is. to everyone. <laughs> if you understand any of that shit I just said, you're sick. It's only not gibberish <laughs> to me. To every to most. You're either like a very poor Reddit person or somebody who's worth five hundred million dollars. <laughs> which, in, which in that case, if you have any business ideas for us, please send them our way. Yeah, please, we'd love to work with you. I, I need money very badly. <laughs> <laughs> we'd love to bring I you on board. I spend so much money on cars. <laughs> we're starting our we're starting our new venture fund. So I'm free. a very sick man. I just want to buy property so bad. <laughs> this is why she's well. Yeah, she's person. in the golf. She wants to buy pe- property. She's I made want to it. buy property so bad. I like, would like a like 918 spider. It just keeps getting more and more expensive. I'm gonna buy a 918 spider next year somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy property in the next. Now year. we're now we're doing our dream boards. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel like this was a good episode. You guys laid out how to out be the, a cool person that we would hang out with. How to be a cool person we hang out. Sorry, with. guys. I hope you know somebody got a few <laughs> tips. Uh, I know that was a rambling schizophrenic nightmare nonsense mess of an episode. Um, and if you're you liked welcome. It, you're Fuck one of you us. if you didn't like it. I hate you. Um, Thanks for watching. Oh, and and here's my feet one last time. Moment of silence for the feet. Um. All right. Comment your favorite. Comment your favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> He's the one that just told me. Fucking ice cream. Oh, can I say mine though? Yeah. Yeah. What's yours? Um, I like when it has peanut butter cups in it. Anything with peanut butter. Peanut okay. butter cups, Me anything too. that related. Me too, actually. That's a really good choice. Thank you. What about you? What about you? Oh man, there's a lot of ways I could go. Armpit. Now when I <laughs> man, <laughs> I'll tell you yeah, armpit. I'll tell you, I've be, I've become a real armpit <laughs> enthusiast <laughs> lately. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> now, but I will say though. You know, as being a, like a, a a feet appreciator, I just kind of like I'm, I'm fucking the chicken. I just go for it. And I'm just putting the feet in my mouth, licking them. <laughs> With the armpits, you got to be a little. I am a little bit like uh, armpits require a little a little more subtlety. And, and when I, I just told her one of my secrets, revealed one of my secrets today, because she's been realizing that, that you know I love oh, her he stinky armpits. The armpit and, like, oh, and she's gonna and she's, come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immediately oh, upon yeah. sniffing. Yeah. And I haven't been wearing deodorant lately just to please yeah. him. There's some viewers out there that are real, real excited by that. But like, <laughs> I said, the, the way that's totally, I just feel though, like with the armpit stuff, you, 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 if it's some chick that you don't really, you can't just be like, let me see them fucking pits, whore. Let me see, no. let me see them stinky, because no. it's a little bit brash. 
But what you do, the, 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 the trick so is you go in for the nipple, the nipple lick, and then while you're there, <laughs> you kind of, it's like you go up for like, a little sniff. You go up for a little sniff, or especially it's good if, if they're riding you and the pits are right, they're like on top of you. Mm-hmm. You kind of get in there and like. <laughs> this is so. Horrible. This is the most scaven fucking shit. No, but literally, he goes, he, he goes and licks or my titty and then he just. So it's like, so it's yeah. like armpit. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Nice. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> like the feet. I thought the feet really did it for him. Feet are nothing compared to the power of the armpit. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've always been a big feet th- and I and I am, but it's, I did, I mean, compared to, they're not as powerful as the pits. I, I'll be honest. They're not as powerful. As and I, I, I'm conflicted. <laughs> I'm conflicted myself about that. I don't know what that says about me. To be honest, I'm a little disturbed. I don't know either. No. Do you want to know something crazy though? I'd never had anyone do that to me until we were fucking. Then I go on the mainstream set and I'm fucking the guy there. And like, in between, we had to take a little bit of a break in the middle of the scene. And so he's just over there like keeping himself hard. And so I start fucking him off camera for a little bit. What's he doing? Sniffing my pits the entire time. <laughs> and I was like, "All right, like this is obviously a thing that he's perverts like, do." He's like, "Wow, that makes a lot of sense to me." Yeah. yeah, it's you know. And I was like, "Wow, okay, this is a thing that only the the most seasoned perverts know." Yeah, you yeah. got to be a powerful uh, sex wizard to 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 really you yeah. know tap in, s- smell someone's armpit, and almost immediately yeah, ejaculate. That, yeah, and that just does it for you. Which I find immensely hot. The moment that guy sniffed and licked my armpits, I was like, "Well." Add him to the list of perverts that I know. <laughs> he goes on the list. The good list. I was like, mm, that's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mint chocolate chip when I was young. Yeah. Because uh, I was a little young homo. Um, hey, I like yeah, that's chocolate super gay. chip. I, yeah, and it's like, I know, but I've eaten a lot because I'm like, it's too gay of a flavor. <laughs> mint chocolate Objectively. I just it think it's like a, a gay flavor. flavor. But I loved, I liked it a lot when I was a kid. Um, He's like two faced. I, yeah, I mean, I think it's. Uh, I'm just a chocolate. I'm. I like a big trash can full of. I'm a Cold Stone person, so it's like yeah. I want chocolate. I want like chocolate ice cream. Uh, you know, maybe some cookies and cream in there. Peanut butter cups, sprinkles, hot fudge. <laughs> I oh, it's have. A, it's an abomination. Early it was onset diarrhea of fucking diabetes. Candy. Yeah, yeah. And then what's your what's your flavor? Well, I was gonna say mint chocolate chip, but you've both now completely. Oh, yours, yours, yours is yours. No, mine, I like peanut butter. I like peanut. Mine's probably like cookie dough. Oh, love That's cookie dough. Good. Can we go get Cold Stone after this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I love you. Thanks got, for watching. I love have something guys. in my eye. I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs>